Hello, and welcome to D4, where I, Dustin, and I, Devin, co-DM a 5th edition game of Dungeons and Dragons. Ah! Uh, this week, we have B. Dave Walters returning to the table. Yay! The first time at the table. Yeah, first time well, at the table, yeah. Right? Yeah. that's uh, Yes, because instead of taking over the DM seat, nope. uh, we thought we'd have him as a player. Let's see how the other half lives over yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. thank you for joining our table. Well, thank you for having me. Normally I would be like, yeah, I've got legs, but I'm still sitting and people can't see them. So it's, <laughs> I assure you they're here, though. I do have legs. Yep. Uh, rumor has it that you uh, retired the lovable... Uh, Feeny there. That, that is yeah. true. Uh, Free Lee and Penelope got married, and uh, they're just traveling the the multiverse, uh, hanging out. Yeah, now and so they're the pints. They're, well, yeah, he, I, they it. are the pints. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah, I, I absolutely love that that lore bardic <laughs> divine soul sorcery hexblade warlock heroic paladin that you have. You know, <laughs> you know, he he he, he still lives in my heart. Yeah, yeah that yeah. that is true. Yep. It's a, hopefully not infamy. He tried to, unless they're bad people, they can be afraid. But we can't <laughs> wait for you all to see who he's playing tonight. Zombie Freely. <laughs> ah, <gotcha>. Plot twist. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Petunia's got, not Petunia. Penelope's mm. gonna be pissed. Mm. <laughs> but, um, all of that loveliness aside, you can tell, you can see that we don't have Cadkins with us. Um, she's not feeling great. We wish her the best. Please uh, feel good soon. Um, and Petunia is here now. But Ray. Ray. Uh, you know, names, um, that's <laughs> Finley, that's Karina, that's Goblin. I don't care what player you are, <laughs> you're always Goblin. All Goblin all the time. And we'll find out who b Dave's playing, but, um, uh, Ray is feeling fine. She's doing things of her own. Um, can't have, wait to have them back next week, but you can join us this summer as we unleash your darkest fears in the eerie embrace of the Velvet Lodge. A bone-chilling, all-female horror TTRPG actual play that will test your sanity. Set in a secluded hunting lodge, its walls whisper secrets that will make the player's blood run cold. Beware the hunters lurking within, for they crave more than mere prey. As night falls, their senses will betray them, trapping them in a maze of terror. Watch them unearth the sinister past of the lodge its cursed inhabitants, and the forgotten horrors they unleashed and come discover if they will dis if they will survive the haunting encounters or forever be lost in the suffocating abyss of the Velvet Lodge. Where you can join Rhea Sunshine, That's me. Ellie Collins, Goblin, <laughs> and the amazing Lauren Urban, who are all playing under the mere masterful oh, game God, director, yes. so Lucia Versprilli. Best she. <laughs> in this incredible. <laughs> They're right there. <laughs> they know. Cin they know. She's phenomenal. Cinematic they know. horror TTRPG actual play. Tune in during our intermission to see an interview with the game developer of the Midnight World, the system that we used in the Velvet Lodge, as well as the teaser trailer. Yeah. Yes. He's so nice. But, ah, Waterdeep. A realm of enchantment, adventure, and limitless possibilities. Behold architectural marvels. Explore bustling markets and embrace the spirit of adventure in treacherous dungeons. Mm. Immerse yourself in a tapestry of culture where theater, music, and literature thrive. Delight in the gastronomic wonders and indulge in a feast for the senses. Unearth the magic within you as arcane mysteries unfold. Let Waterdeep cast its spell, ignite your imagination, and create memories to last a lifetime. And book now to embark on your adventure of a lifetime in the City of Splendors, where legends are born. That's right, book and pre-order your timeshare now, or vacation, through BeetleandGrims.com. <laughs> With the Waterdeep Silver Edition Package, your gateway getaway. Filled with itinerary of locations, encounters, and souvenirs, it's a perfect match for you and your friends to become legends and create memories that will last a lifetime and one that you will want to share time and time again. Hey, Goblin, on to you. <laughs> that was good. Hi. How's your dice collection? 
I can answer that for you. Not big enough. You need more dice. And it just so happens that I have a few sets. I can rec, no, you need more dice. I can recommend a couple sets for you that you can find now on dieharddice.com. Simply go to dieharddice.com and search for D4. It will pull up the last two character palette sets that we have available, the Herald set and the V set. And while you're there, since you're going to use code D4BFFs or D4BFGs, there is an S on the end, why don't you go ahead and search for B-Dave as well, and you will pull up the dice that were created and inspired by our wonderful friend here. They're really pretty. I have a set. They look really cool. It's blue numbers on a gold uh, glittery die. Oh, it's really pretty. I love them. So you should love them too. You should go to dieharddice.com. Now. We will wait for you. True. All right, we're not doing anything for like five minutes. Open the second tab. Go. The second tab. You can listen to us while you're browsing. All right, fine. That was extremely aggressive. Hi. Uh, different energy over here tonight. Uh, so, uh, I am a horrible ad read person for all of you, and I forgot to tell you that this month, you get the raw amethyst dice on D&D Beyond as your May subscriber perk. The month is almost over, so you better hurry up and subscribe to get them. They are stunning. They have a look of pure amethyst that's been cut into dice shapes. So you can see them. They're stunning. They look like Ooh. rocks. Oh. They're actually probably the prettiest dice set I've seen on D&D Beyond, and I use the Squishy Vecna set. I love so sounds. It's gross. <laughs> I love it. But these, they're stunning. So go ahead and sign up on dndbeyond.com and get your May subscriber perk. I'm downloading them right now. Yeah, I'm literally over here. Like, I'm them back. <laughs> I own it, Kevin, once again, coming to you from the Eldritch Factory, the most powerful place to make miniatures for your table. And I know what you're thinking to yourself. You have a very, very cool dwarf character that you need to put into, into some sort of plastic right now. You need a resin cast version of him on your table today. Well, let me tell you something. Eldritch Factory has heard your cries from deep within the Elden, Ring, Elden Rings of Elden Kevin's mind. It's like Saturn in there, but in his brain, inside the skull, a big goblet full of brain juice constantly hearing your thoughts, and I know what you're thinking, it's gross. So, you need to get yourself the Mountain Ages set right now here at Odin's Foundry. You can get your own cool dwarf with a cool shield, a cool axe, cool shoes, and a cool, uh, I, I'm going to call this a tunic, I think is what it is, yes? And Odin Kevin knows exactly what you want, even more than that. You want free stuff. Well, I put in hashtag Eldritch in the chat because my brain power is going to give you the chance to win your own Eldritch Foundry miniature for free. Or put D4D in to get the other thing I know your brain wants, which is discounts if you can't win. Because and all by putting D4D&D into their coupon code. Get yourself a fantastic Eldritch Foundry miniature today and make a cool dwarf and name him Mini Kevin. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Thank Ethan you Elden Kevin. and Elden Kevin. <clears throat> <clears throat> What's up? You know what it's like over in this corner. It's pretty chill vibes. I'm not going to get aggressive with you unless you would like me to. I don't know. If you feel like supporting the chaos that you see over here, feel free to go to d4dndrpg.com. There's a lot of letters. I'll say it again. d4dndrpg.com. It's almost the whole alphabet if you think about it. <laughs> if you don't believe me, go to the website and see what you find. Challenge on you now. Bye. <laughs> It is now your time to embark on an epic journey into the Idle Champions mobile game. Return to the Feywild and two new adventures and variants through the final Prismere Domain. While you are there, meet Avandra, a fearless tank who defies death by removing her own arm and keeps on fighting. Unleash your creativity by using a Modron arm as a replacement or makeshift weapon as you march through the Modron Emergence. Download now and conquer the Feywild and Modrons alike. Also, use the code at the bottom of your screen to unlock a chess code and grab some loot for your game and for that extra edge against the lawful mechanical zealots. Um, uh, Siege Sons. I'm a sex son. <laughs> but without further ado, let us immerse ourselves into the Chronicles of D4. <laughs>
<laughs> and we're back. What was Le- that? <laughs> Just, all the stuff that happens <laughs> before <laughs> the camera. Shall we Saint Nicholas? <laughs> I'm tickling him under the table. <laughs> You don't know how far my arms reach into this. Uh, thing. You, yeah, <laughs> tall man lights. is tall. Mm-hmm. Uh, but last time on Dolor, <laughs> last time on Doloriferous discussions of discord and the deceased, the BFGs found themselves in council with a rebellion coalition known as the Order of Staves and Steel. Laurel Silverhand and Vajra Safar, along with many old friends, joined the discussion to strategize localized aggression tactics that would divert the attention of Manchun the new open lord of uh, Waterdeep. As the groups planned um, factioned attacks on the city, the council discovered that the BFG's recent actions had provoked Manchun's fury as they made him believe that the rival uh, Manchun group, the Red Wing, had returned. Manchun was now on a relentless mission to exterminate them. Using that to their advantage, the BFGs devised a plan to confront Manchun directly by posing as the Red Wing or infiltrating Kolat Towers to eliminate the real Manchun once and for all. During the meeting, the BFGs learned that the Guild of Thorns, acting as double-agent mercenaries, were keeping the sewers clear by presenting evidence of eliminating insurgents and rebels against Manchun who sought to utilize them. After the council meeting, the BFGs returned to Trollskull Alley only to find the vibrant celebration of the Feast of the Moon in full swing. Amidst the festivities were stories shared of lost loved ones as they were remembered, and most of the group took time to process their grief individually. Ravinli, on the other hand, was beckoned by her newfound goddess, Sahanin Moonbow, who called upon her to guide the lost souls trapped in the ethereal plane to their final resting places through the mystic rites of the luminous cloud. As everyone... Where am I at? I lost it. Oh, there we go. Sorry. Meanwhile, Karina expressed her concerns to Vajra regarding the potential impact of the upcoming aggressive actions on the people of Waterdeep. She questioned the morality of their choices, recognizing their necessity, but hoping for a better future for the city. Harold found a moment to speak with Petunia about their relationship, but their conversation was interrupted by Renair's awkward intervention. Undeterred, Harold asked if he could discuss the possibility of of summoning their friend Karina to, or sorry, uh, of their friend or Kira to aid them. I was like, Karina's right there. Uh, in a fight against Manchun with Laurel and asking Renair to do that. Yeah. <clears throat> Seisha paid a visit to Mama Uwe's new home and engaged in a conversation about the morality of the world. Seeking guidance, Seisha inquired about the importance of self-healing before requesting Mama Uwe's assistance in dreamwalking into the mind of George Forsworn. As tensions rise and their plans unfold, the BFGs continue to navigate a treacherous path with their alliances, personal relationships, and the fate of Waterdeep hanging in the balance. The group planned and prepared more before uniting at Mama Uwe's the next evening. There, under multiple protections, Petunia assisted the divination master Morali and Hedgewitch in the unification of the group's mind as they venture forth into the possible nightmarish dreams and memories of their enemy and tortured soul, George Forsworn. As everyone went comatose, V opted to stay behind to be the last line of defense against anything or anyone that would come to physically harm them in their vulnerable states. After their minds meld with George's rescuing themselves from the organic fluid-filled pods, the BFGs find themselves back in the chaos of the unfathomable plains of the Far Realm. Surprisingly, though, when they walk through one of the reality-altering veils that wash over the land like waves in an esoteric miasmic ocean, they find themselves standing at a different... Uh, at, standing at different statures, looking into the yawning portal. However, certain things seem to twist and morph into body horror aberrations before quickly shifting back to normalcy, as the Far Realm still claws at their minds through the corruption it has on George Forsworn's. Upon entering, they see a ranger flagging them down to join him. He is dressed in heavy cloaks, covering his leathers with two swords angled off his back to one side. And that is where we pick up tonight's story. What are you all doing? As you oh. see the this human 
waving you over to a table. I, I will so, look at the group. So did we walk in like physically together? Mm-hmm. Yes. So we at least were walking with purpose together. Turn. Hmm? Mm. Wait. Hmm? Hmm? Do we have the, <laughs> the mindset? Oh, no. Say again, uh, Ethan. Do we have the mindset of the new person we are, or are we... No, we are, are, we are ourselves in, in their bodies. Yep. We are avatar Because you are not entering their memories. You're only entering George's, and so you do not have all of their thoughts and stuff. Oh. Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, guys? What's wrong? Yeah. Uh, you're... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, 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 okay. 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 Uh, Karina. Yeah. Okay, okay. You're and big. as, as yeah, you're saying this in this memory, that's when that three part band becomes that three part person um, amalgamation person. of a three piece th- band. Yes, a yeah. yeah. three bard band. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, of body horrors and and things like that before shifting back. And it continues as you look on, you see the crane over the yawning portal as that nasty, dripping, ichor claw that is reaching down into the abyss before shifting back. We better make this quick. Who are you? I'm Finley. Okay, okay, okay. So you're Harold. Yes, I am. Okay. Whoa. Uh, That's cool. Uh, I like the way I sound. I, is anybody getting a load of this? I'm... I'm quite distinguished. Oh, I want to do I'm a voice. I'm feeling okay. it deep inside my bones, right I, down to my plums, I feel I this gotta, one. I gotta be big turtle. Okay. Hey. I'm oh, not even good. putting this voice on. Hey. This is just the way this person sounds. It's fantastic. <laughs> um, just a real quick question. Am, am I a dwarf? Would there be something I, wrong with uh, it if you were? Karina, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and as this discussion, me. I'm just small. <laughs> as this discussion continues in its form currently, oh no! You look and see the person sitting at the table kind of cocks his head off to the side. You're acting very strange, and you see that vertigo, vertigo cinematic scene where the back of the yawning portal seems to get closer and further yeah. away. Like he pulls further away, and you see the walls begin to bleed black, I shimmering. I start walking liquor. to the table, and then whoosh, it just fades back. I have just like I'm walking, trying to get used to these big ass legs. Like, do Do we oh. have our telepathic bond? Nope. Nope. I don't we think sure so. don't. Sure don't. Well, this just got a lot more complicated. Okay. Because whose mind would you have to be telepathically bonded with in order to do that? Yep, yep. We're in a mind. We can't. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't yeah, know. I'll, I I will, I will step over and take a seat at the table. I'll, I'll hop up. I'm going to... I'll lean against a post nearby. Yeah, I'm, I'm leaning with you. Okay. You can see that there's a post fairly close by as there's... The, the outcropped awning that kind of semicircles the yawning portal below it. And there's two layers, as yep. there always yep. has been. We're um, on the ground floor under the balcony, Yeah, right? you just walked into okay. the ground Correct. floor. So um, I think what we will do is we will describe what you <laughs> see each other as, but not yourself, <laughs> as there is no mirror next to you to see that. I can uh, that. And we'll start with Harold. You, what you see when you look at Harold is a much taller, well over six feet, th- thin, very thin, and not quite emaciated. There's definitely musculature, but distinguished gold-scaled dragonborn. Oh, at first, skinny legend. Oh, that's you so would, appropriate. At first, you th- thought maybe you're looking at a younger version of Raishal. But you can oh. tell by certain facial features and uh, mm-hmm. absence of certain whiskers uh, or like the long tendrils that hang from Raishal's face. There's less, if not, you know, any or a different design hanging off of whoever Harold is portraying currently. Yep. Um, you would see uh, the symbol of a gold almost looks like a coin but there's a uh the relief side 
figure of a woman's face in gold. Which god is it? Um, Make a you, religion check. Okay. Using your new Oh stats. no! <laughs> because you're not you. Oh Could no! I also make that check? Sure. <laughs> Falling back on old, uh, <laughs> old reliance. Dirty 20. Oh, that's not bad. Just like old habits. Did you get uh, 21? No. Okay. <laughs> Older habits. 13. 13. <laughs> nice. nice. Um, you recognize it, and you're not sure why you recognize it, but you immediately go, oh, that's Joaquin, god of money. Yep. Okay. That we've makes... seen, we've come across Joaquin oh, yeah. before. Yeah. Yeah, in the southern ward. That's not why you know it. As again, you yes, you should. That should be the reason. But do I feel like I did, Joaquin? <laughs> I once knew a phoenix with that name. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was waiting. <laughs> you know that shit's gonna come for me. Uh, uh, Karina. Yeah. Uh-oh. What you look when you see? <laughs> when I look down at my lumbering. You're a, a lot taller. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Like, you know, uh, not quite six feet, but well over five, you know? You're also noticeably wider, as you're not used to this form, and you're constantly bumping into yeah. people and tables. Uh, uh, yep, what are but, you looking at? <laughs> um, it, you are a turtle. But you have the appearance and shape of a sea turtle. <gasps> Dude! <laughs> so... That like more softer shell on the backside, yeah. not <laughs> as. Oh, yep. Yes. That's. So I'm cute. so hype right now. Um. And something that you all notice, but you you don't notice it. Yeah. Because your nose blind to it is, anytime you you pass it, there's that just aroma of salt water. <sighs> oh, that bromide Pirates of the Caribbean smell. Yep. For Vinley. <laughs> There's something on your face that itches <laughs> horrifically. Covering your mouth and lower jaw is this long black beard. This uh, one won't come off my sneeze, Multiple, think. multiple knots. Uh, intricate in design. Um, hair is wavy and short and buzzed on the side, and shaved, bald on the sides, and then you guys can see tattoos going across it that is an intricate Celtic knotwork hammer that is the holy symbol of Morrison. So I'm hot, is... Yeah, I was about to say, Karina's like, if there was one man. (laughs) (laughs) One man Walking through the bar with some swag, just like, And you see the intricate intricate knotwork, and you see the the hammer and the um, anvil that you guys had saw in the book. Yep. <clears throat> I love this baby boy. And Sasha. <laughs> you short. I'm so <laughs> tiny. <laughs> you I went from six feet to three feet? Uh, no, no, you're little, okay. you're you're tall for uh Hold on. I said that. Tall for Nope, a... nope, you're you're yeah, about three feet. A bit tall for a stormtrooper. Okay. Yep. <laughs> A little tall for a stormtrooper. I know what it's like to be tall for a halfling. Yeah. It's a uh, deceptively I mean, stout people. Other than that, I mean, <laughs> just a, like wearing leathers, but uh, you have like extremely long curly black hair, though. Like oh. V style of like curly flow ponytail, just extremely Word. curvy and long. Uh, I always wanted curly hair. Like stepped straight out of the 80s curls. But not this curly hair. You've never had to brush it before. Oh, this is true. Uh, and you notice that you're covered in leathers and yep. things that kind of obscure things on your body. Uh, you are um, completely shirtless, just in like armored pants. Sounds great. Cool. Uh, love it. Yeah. Uh, I'd say like pauldrons with the, or at least one pauldron with the mm-hmm. side strap. Um, nice. A burly man that just has just that thick uh, oh. Henry Cavill like chest hair. Um, We're on the same wavelength, right? Now. Yeah. <laughs> no shirt. No shirt. Just no tattoos, shirt. baby. <laughs> yeah. um, and then, uh, and much like Raishal, um, the Dragonborn is covered in robes, probably some that uh, are very lavish, um, expensive, and possibly drag behind with like a small train. Hmm. 
Somewhere in Vinley's mind, she goes, I know what you are. <laughs> I feel like I would notice I'm very light on my feet. Very light on yep. my feet. <laughs> sure are. I'm walking very slowly. <laughs> I am the anti Yeah. Um, but you two are leaned up against uh, the nearby post. There's a sconce burning. And above that, there's um, a bunch of different animals, you know, whether they be beasts or they be uh, creatures killed as trophies and brought up from the depths below and of Undermountain. You see banners hanging with the visage and symbol of that screaming face of the fire forge um, or the fire hearth in the back as the symbol of the yawning portal behind the bar, cleaning a glass. That same old handled bar, gruff looking, angry, pissed off at the world, bartender Dernan. Oh. Yep. And you're at the table at this man. What How much guys... younger does uh, Dernan look? He looks the same. It... What took Wild. you so long? We're on a oh, schedule. Oh, God! You. <clears throat> Sorry. We got held up, is what happened. Yes, <sighs> we were very held up by things in the city that, that held us up. Bori, would you just get us the usual, please? Bori, yes. Uh, is that me you're speaking to? And coming up, you see... What? <laughs> Nothing, never mind. I'm, I'm confused. Uh, walking up, you see a redhead. Bonnie? You see Bonnie. And Bori. as she walks up, well, you see... I am killed. <laughs> you see a bunch of, like, tiny, tiny eyes like radiating out from her face and like tiny little holes looking around and then mm -hmm. all morphs back into one. Ah, how are my favorite greenhorns doing? Greenhorns. Ah, yes, we are very good. <laughs> Shall I get the usual for you? Sure. But George, I see sure. you're I am the crayfish stew with the uh, ganderberry cider. You know me well, Bonnie. Apologies. I asked Bori to get it for us, and... <laughs> well, I think, mm -hmm. um... <laughs> Bori, uh... More focused on the dwarven ales. I got three of them waiting for you, all right? How is he looking at when he says Bori? Harold? Nope, looking no. at Vinley. Uh, yep. <laughs> Vinley's, like, nodding her head, like, yeah! Oh, and for the rest of you, what can I get? Then keep your wits about you, though, Bori. We have work to do. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Help! <laughs> she just In turns. You'll be fine. Impor uh -huh. Important point of clarification. Did you two sit, or are you looming we're, nearby, as you said? We're, you we're standing, gonna like, right. close to the table, but, like, the nearest beam. Yeah, and the table would be right next to a beam, just at the cusp of being near the portal girl. itself. But, uh... I look right at you, and I'm like... What are you doing? My back's acting up. <laughs> Figured I'd stand, straighten it out a bit. Your back's acting up? Yeah, from carrying this team. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying a new <laughs> joke. Have you been feeding him alcohol again? Absolutely. Yeah. That <laughs> and then Vinley catches herself. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, what? A dwarven ale's real good. You know, I'm this... not very hungry, Bonnie. Thank you, though. Uh, I'll be fine by by the time we get going. This is probably not the time for experimentation. You know that this now's not the time to change things. You, you... I thought I could handle it. That's on me. <sighs> We've got a job to do. We'll get it done. I don't even know why you let him do this, Penny. Why would you let him try something like this? <laughs> yes, Penny. And I look to follow the eyes of where uh -huh. George is looking. <laughs> Yes, Penny, why would you? Why would you let me do this, Penny? Why is this all my fault? What, is it going to be my fault? <laughs> you could have said no, too. I was here on time. It's the rest of you that are late. I had a stomach issue, if you must know. I'm a little nervous. Nervous? What is wrong with you all today? It's, we got held up on the way here. <laughs> That's all Harold can think of. He's just, 
We keep getting I, distracted, so... I just put my hand on both of my long swords. I'm like, held up? Who? No, held up oh. as in, like, took too long. Like time. She was, was shitting, a, like, a lot. It was actually... Harold just it took us a while. You, Bonnie, I... am you one of these. Bonnie, Bonnie I apologize for this language. I don't know. Apparently, they got lost in their cups on the way oh. to the yawning portal. George, George, do you know where you are, lass? A lad, you're at the fucking yawning portal. I hear it all day, every day. Still want to respect you, Bonnie. I appreciate it. You can respect me by throwing a couple of nibs my way at the end of the, the meal, and she'll set down your drinks. Um, and for anyone that did not order anything, or for the person that said it had an upset stomach, there's just water. Harold oh looks at the drink and will not touch the food or water in this place. Yeah, yep. nope. Nope. Yep. Oh, no. <laughs> Did you and eat or drink? He turns to George and says, just for clarity's sake, perhaps we should go over the plan one last time, considering everybody's acting a bit out of sorts. Oh, yeah, I heard that uh, Dernan said you were finally brave in the portal. Oh, absolutely. That is what we're doing. Mm, absolutely. Just be careful. Don't get too greedy. It's sad to say, but a lot of folk that venture down don't come back. But those that do, oftentimes, can easily retire or be forged into legends. Ah, <laughs> I see what you did there. It's good for you walking worshippers. And she looks towards the dragonborn and nods and then continues about serving to the other uh, people. Um, in the tavern. Uh, it's about that time that you notice the lift going down with another adventuring group, but as it does, the well itself turns into a mouth that <laughs> closes over it and just <laughs> crunches and then reopens back up as you just hear. <laughs> I just had a horrific thought. <clears throat> what if the yawning portal was a mimic? Oh, don't. Why would you say that? Right now. I, that's I too much right now. No by now. Yeah, but wouldn't that be wild? I think that's what gets Finley to put down the flagon. Because she was like, I gotta be boring. <laughs> and she was about to down the whole thing. And then the snapping turtle happened. And she was like, oh, no. George, are you okay? Do you not drink it? Oh, shit. It... Is it the sequence of events, what if it's a mimic, and you're like, what? Yeah, it's like <laughs> that same moment when you said... That's what, what I thought you back. were saying. So you say that, I put it down and say that, and then just kind of sit back, because I'm like, I don't want to drink that now. We're getting way distracted. Sorry, George. Of course you don't know. You never know the plan. Bori, tell him. Okay. <laughs> you so, are the only one out of this group that I always can count on to be prepared. Gee, thanks. As much as I appreciate Bori going over the plan, I just had to listen to Bori give our turtle friend about three drinks on the way here, so I'd much prefer to hear it from somebody less in their flagons, if you wouldn't mind, George. He has a point, George. I'm very wasted. Of course I do. We'll get a uh, we'll get cleared up of this before we leave. But um, if you could, please. Yeah. And you see, George very much picks up his cup and is like, just take pours out the rest of it. Just like, maybe something's wrong with me right now. <laughs> <laughs> Real simple. Our numbers coming up. We go down. Floor 19? Why are you taking notes? I, no, we're not. I'm not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if I was Seisha, right. it would... Oh, wait. Right. I, I kind of am Seisha. <laughs> 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 yeah. um, I, I think I start looking through my pouches and then remember and stop. <laughs> this is not going to be a repeat of Neverwinter. You hear me? Mm-hmm. Look, that was we've agreed up. we weren't going to bring up Neverwinter any longer. I feel like I haven't been given a fair shake about Neverwinter. I mean, what 
What's the we're real problem with Neverwinter? We're distracted. Why don't you tell no, no, no. Anyway. I, I need to anyway, know. Lord. I need listen, to know. Listen, we listen, all, listen, please. listen, listen. I know you're competing with the whole world, but you're not competing with us, okay? Like, Jesus, Penny. It's, I, I, who? Jesus, Mora didn't write. <laughs> what? You mean Mora didn't <laughs> Penny. <laughs> Stay. Focused, okay? You don't have to try and spring every trap and pick every lock and show that you're the biggest badass in the world, okay? It's, you can touch things from across the room. Maybe do that and we won't have to pay for another ring of regeneration for you, okay? Look, I am the best, so it only makes sense that Could I would- please get back to the plan? All right, fine. Like you were saying, George. Go down, floor 19, you all do your job, we'll make enough gold that we can retire forever, and that will be that, okay? It's, I don't understand, like, we're so close, we're so close now, and you've all forgotten, like, w w what even the point behind this was? It's been a hard few weeks. Look, George, we've, we've been talking. We're worried about you. You've been acting really on edge lately. Well, because we may die within the hour, we so I feel like- We may die little... with everything we do. Mm -hmm. With fear comes hesitation. We can't be hesitating down there. I can't die. <laughs> Lori, you remember Mintone? Oh, absolutely, <laughs> I remember Mintone. <laughs> It's just like that, right? <clears throat> yeah. I don't remember Mintarn. The Mintarn, you love the Mintarn story. Yeah, I love the Mintarn story. I'm, I'm keeping it for myself right now, George, because we're about to die. Bonnie, Bonnie. We're not the, going the, to die. Bad cop here. We The two more ales for Ah, yes. I, I'm sorry. I started it in, in our flagons. Everybody, get out your green horns. I know you like to toast yeah, the exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, to toast yeah. the green yeah. horns. Yeah. Boring's yeah. drying yeah. out here. Yeah. I right. Did I come across a flask? I don't feel around for that a green it's still horn. Firm. You look for a green horn? <laughs> yeah. You look down, and there's a green drinking horn on your hip. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, cheese. I'm going to take it and limp it. <laughs> yeah. Clink. Clink. And, uh, I would like to make sleight of hand to look like I drink from it and don't. <laughs> okay, make a sleight of hand. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it up to my I, lips. I got a big ass portal mouth. You can't passage. tell I drink. Yeah, it's about to say, George, George he, he's, he's a little worried about them right now. And but, then also, uh, check, at, your, at, check your Facebook. At the risk of being uh, overly meta, he, he's not suspecting that they're not them, but it's like either they're drunk or they're scared, or it's like they're not acting themselves. Yeah. Is yeah. Where his head is at right now. Listen. I got this. Listen. It's, I don't know why. Okay. We're going to floor 19. Mm -hmm. yes, so, so real quick, what does that mean, Sorth? If we're going to no level 19. Sorth, Sorth, yes. <laughs> then we're going to do what? Become rich, of course. And also pass through one through eighteen. What is he? Yes. Well, I thought that was lives. obvious, George. Well, Today I mean, we will descend it, deeper into it the. It was mountain. a rather open-ended question. Yeah, that wasn't Listen. really. And yet somehow you missed the answer. Listen, George. Okay, George. Okay, wait. I just... George, you're really the... jumpy. Yes, I'm jumpy. Do you know what the genies will do if we're not ready? Genies. Um. <clears throat> yeah, the genies. <laughs> no. Can... Oh. I mean, they're genies, the horrible things they do. I, I haven't really given it thought about anything specific, well, have you, you? If they literally grant wishes, Penny, so you should probably put some thought into what it is you want. I mean, that's a good idea. If I want it, I'll get it myself. Do, what are you wishing for? Sore. Oh, man. Or, that's a good one. One syllable. Man, I kind of, I kind of just want like a whole island to myself, you know. No offense to y'all. You want an island to yourself for what? Relax for once. 
If we're about to die, wouldn't it be great to just kick back? Like, I'm trying to spitball creative ideas, because really, we can get whatever we want. Wait, you hate all of that. I'm trying new yeah. things, man. Not today. That's what I'm trying to get across to all of you. Today's not the day for innovation. Today is the day for the fundamentals. You are so right. George, could I have a quick aside? If you are going to give me another one of those damn motivational quotes you're so fond of, oh, I swear no. you are not going to make it to level 19. Well, that's probably not going to I told you not to get that stupid tattoo. And he points at your foot when he says your stupid tattoo. Yes, your head is tattooed, yeah. but he very much points at your foot and says, the I told irony you that we not already to have get stupid tattoos. that stupid <laughs> tattoo. Uh, Bori's like, oh, ha, ha, ha. Look, staff. I mean, it's probably in plate. Uh, yeah. Right now, yeah. yeah. You got boots and stuff Fuck. on. Uh huh. <laughs> hey George, check it out. Wand. I have a wand. <laughs> I'm gonna come back to you, Sora. Yes. You, you know, Bori. Bori. Look. 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 look, look I'm gonna be real honest with you, George. You're right. Now is not the time for experimentation. But last night was, and I kind of. There was magic alcohol involved last night after oh, you were gone. Sorry. I know. It's really don't, irresponsible. Don't you remember Port Yunzaru when you were like, we might die tomorrow, so I'm going to drink all of the ale from the... That sounds exactly like me. They had brought <laughs> that ale out of the Tomb of Annihilation. Like, why would you drink black mead? That you know, that that was neither here nor there. I, what what what? Those we, yeah, what Bori, you why would you drink what, black what, mead? Can you shut what, the hell up <laughs> right now? Just, <laughs> it just, it just, Bori, I need you to lock it up, okay? Like, I know the rest of them, but you're supposed to be the one I can count on. He like adjusts his metal pants, <laughs> and he's like, look, uh, they're on. I'm on. I'm ready to go down wait, there. I just, wait, wait. I'm having a hard time with Lori. the plan because of the alcohol. Lori, I need you to do something important, okay? What am I doing? I don't mean to sound weird here, right? Mm. Mm -hmm. But there are people who can change their faces. There might be a changeling among us or some such. And that would be bad. Very bad. I need you to do your thing and make sure that everybody is who they appear to be. I got you, I got I'll you. I'll distract them. You you know what to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, hey, Sorth. Yes, it is I, Sorth. <laughs> Why are you talking like that? <laughs> oh, Look, they're pinning it on me talk. that I was drinking. Everybody was drinking, okay? <laughs> which, which way would I normally talk there, George? <laughs> You're asking me to help you? Uh, no, Constantly. I'm not. I'm, just, I'm being sarcastic. Oh, what's up? I am in this for the money. Let's be clear. We are going to be rich when this is done. That doesn't sound right. That, that's, Does it, I pull up my necklace and wave it a little bit and put it back down. Because I imagine Harold recognizes almost every god necklace there is. Just, we, it's, it, 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 look over at the the ticker, and I'm like, it's it's almost it's almost our time. I need you again. Just I got it. Do your thing, please. <sighs> okay. Bori kind of stands up and leans on the bar stool. Just kind of looks around for a second and tries to engage a feeling. From the way he's talking about me, I think I may be a paladin. So I'm doing whatever Seisha's face is when she awakens the divine sense. So he's like... On a very meta level, that's all Freely ever did, was like, oh my god, the other paladin's um, staying like this, and I'm oh, it happens. You just concentrate, and you just let out this just ungodly fart. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now that's I think the Bori jumps, actually, like this. <laughs> that's why they call you Smelt Master. I high five people. To face the yeah. <laughs> children. We're good. I will say, when you high-five him and say, yeah, and you say children, he actually kind of stops laughing and looks at the two of you. It's like, 
you know what? Let's just go. Let's just let's let's, just, let's, just, a... let's just go. And it's at let that point go. that everything be- he says, "Let's go," and his mouth droops and just uh, elongates and just, and everything just begins to dissolve away before your eyes. People melting and turning too much time. as they flesh goes from yeah. literally inside out as it just fades into black and then the next thing you know you're on the lift going down. Mm-hmm. Oh, horrifying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we, we took too much time in that conversation, I think. And no, I think it, we were ready to go. You, so we're shifting the dream. As you go down, you look down as you are looking into a giant eye staring up at you. The stone walls around you writhe with a perverse life of their own, pulsating and heaving as if breathing in a sickening cadence. Grotesque growths protrude from the surface, resembling fleshy tumors that quiver and leak a putrid ichor. And the walls emit eerie whispers as if the very stone itself is suffering, trapped in internal torment. And then... Fades back, and that's that's what the harsh shift puts you into. As you continue to go down, descending into the iris of the eye, as you lower down further and further, and as you descend into it, you look up, and the eyelid closes. No, it doesn't. <laughs> that's so scary. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's gonna sound kind of weird, but do I recognize this eye? Yeah, it looks just like the elder eye. Okay, that's, that's, uh, that, yep, okay. 100%. Yeah, yeah, okay. He might know we're here. Um, what do I look like? But and, we don't look like ourselves. And when it shifts back, the darkness from the eyelid closing is just because you're so far down mm-hmm. into the mm-hmm. depths. Mm-hmm. In that dark. I'm going to, like, pat myself down to see, like, obviously I can feel weapons in a pack on my mm-hmm. thing. I'm looking, I'm praying to Sahanin for any kind of casting focus. No. Shit. Shit. I'm just going to, like, yep. real quick in the dark, head into the shell, check my belongings, <laughs> and pop back out. I will say, even as we're sort of, like, riding down, you see uh, George is kind of standing there, and he's, like, gripping the edges of his longsword. You kind of hear the leather squeaking. And he says, Sorth. Yes. Who's going to get the first kill? Me or Penny? 50 gold. Who's it going to be? That's rude. 50 gold? Well, I know Penny probably thinks it's her, but we all know the truth, George. You're oh. going to get that first kill. Ah, you take the wager then. 50 gold. 50 gold it is. Yeah. <laughs> Good and luck. And when I have my 50 gold, we'll see. I say 75, I get the first kill. Eat it. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and apologize for humiliating both of you. When you say that, you see the first actual smile of recognition on George's face, and he goes, "That's Penny Longfoot." All right, let's do it. Come on. Penny Longfoot. I start stretching. Harold <laughs> always repeats every name you yes. say. Like, ah. <laughs> Almost see, it's like even though you get the distinct, uh, a real feeling of camaraderie from him, it's like one, even though he kind of was questioning you, once you got on the lift, it's kind of all business. Yeah. Like he's just sort of like moving back and forth, kind of rocking with the swords. Like, here we go 18 floors, 19 retirement. <laughs> uh, no, I don't know yet, so I can't <laughs> cast anything. God damn it. <laughs> yeah. um, I take out my hammer. Mm-hmm. Yeah? And yeah. I stand there like... Yeah. You have a shield. Work, 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 work. I take that out too. Mm-hmm. Wait. Do... Can I sense that I have magic? Just as an aside, just, cause just for what you may or may not have heard... George said to you, you can touch things from across the room. That's right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
He also said you don't have to be in a rush to disarm every trap you see to prove what a badass you are. Yep. Yes. Yep. So. Sorry, not to be mad. No, 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 no. Yeah, I, I had totally forgotten yeah. about the touch things across the room. So y'all got three DMs tonight, y'all. <laughs> oh god. I, I will just say because I know you all are desperately trying to figure out what you can do, mm -hmm. and I just uh, as I'm sort of rocking a little bit back and forth, and I'm like, we got this, we got this. Oh, oh, boy, the prayer. Invoke the prayer. Okay. Let's <laughs> <laughs> do the prayer. And, and when. When, if Sorth laugh, do you laugh, uh, by the way? Yeah, you know. When, when you laugh, I just say, Sorth, there's more gods in this world, okay? It's not just Joaquin. You know we need the prayer. I'll take the prayer. Okay. My friend immediately shot to rub a dub dub thanks for the grub. <laughs> I was sitting here thinking it's like the boyfriend has come over to dinner yeah. and the dad's You're like, like why don't you blessing. say grace? What did you get earlier? Uh, no, that was for Joaquin. So mm -hmm. you you can roll religion for Moradin. Yeah, I was going to say, nope, you nope. sure don't. Has not said your name yep. yet. Vinley's <laughs> going through that catalog <laughs> of gods. Yep. Oh, six. Six? I'm a dwarven at, god. Yep. God of dwarven dwarves. Dwarven god, he said more. He's been saying more a lot. Who uh, could that be? Can I make... Do you Hammer. have... This is, this is in the spur of the moment as uh, yeah. the dwarf is supposed to give the prayer of Moradin. I and cast anything me. when you pray as well? I am looking to see if there's anything... Yes, I do. There is something I would like to cast. Okay. I don't necessarily think it's the right thing, but it's the thing I want. <laughs> Let's go. So, <laughs> Bori kneels down. Hammer to the ground. <sighs> Dear God. Oh. Swords <laughs> makes that noise. Oh. Thank you so much for equipping us with the tools to fight and gather. And I can't wait to see your face. I know you're out there. Amen. And accidentally cast aid on Bori, George. I really appreciate that. Level. He said he had a wand. Yep. I'm so sorry. He said he had a wand, so I know what that means. As Vinley, so I give, a, and it's 15, max. What? Okay. 15 added to your maximum hit points. Okay. We'll say you notice as you start praying, George just kind of mounts it along with you, and when the aid kicks <laughs> in, you just hear like a relaxed exhale. Like almost the closer we're getting to something terrible happening, he actually is getting calmer. <laughs> like, yeah, we got this. Okay. And may we also make lots of money and retire. Does anything visual happen? Like any light come off of anything when I do that? You hear the sound of a hammer hitting an anvil. Nice. That's so annoying. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I think that's what Billy thinks is like, God, that's annoying. Oh, duh, gods are annoying. Some of most of them. <laughs> uh, I am going to try to feign being very, a little nervous as we're getting closer and look over to Karina mm -hmm. and be like, are you prepared? Um, um, and I'm trying to get George to say who Karina is so that we can figure out everyone's names. Oh, yeah, because if I don't know you're talking to me, I'm not even paying attention. I'm, like, checking my <laughs> shit. Like... Um, oh. oh, I think he's having another brain fart, George. Uh, it's not a brain fart. He always gets upset when you pray to Moradin. He right. always is. <laughs> I simply worship a better god. Is what Harold says very uncomfortably. <laughs> the god of coin is a great and just god, but the shield of Moradin is what keeps us alive yeah. so that we can gather said coin. Moradin is a 16 on religion for the name Moradin. Moradin is totally like an awesome god that's all about forging, making, and recreation. You're all about spending. And getting. Isn't that right? Um, and I look back at the turtle, trying again to get George to say it. Um, 
when, I'm like working when, on attuning the oh, stone to my staff. Just I, I, I will say when 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 you say that, I just like. You know, he's not one for gods, light, none of that. Yes, he sure isn't. <laughs> You're not one for gods, isn't that right? Yeah. <laughs> You're going Sorry. through your stuff. Yeah. You're trying to, yeah. You yeah, pull out this... It was that distracted, like, <clears throat> huh? <laughs> yeah, and you're holding up what looks like a, like, clear shard. Yep. Um, that, as, like, you peer through it, and it's pitch blackness as you're going down. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I think only our dwarven friend has dark vision. Uh, no, I do up you to are, 120 okay. feet. That's right, okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, of course. I gotta see through yeah, the of ocean. Course, of course. <laughs> That may not be why you have 120 foot dark vision, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> the uh, but as you look through, like you pull it out and you can see, almost like reflected in it, oh, this so twisted good. tree covered in ravens. Mm. Mm-hmm. Careful where you point that thing. That's like so. I'm fine. <laughs> Vinley like slips for a second. It's like wow, that's really cool, and it snaps back into Vor and like oh Vori. <clears throat> now Finley's just waiting. Okay. Um, uh, I, I will say, as, as we're kind of going down, you see when it gets darker and darker and darker, you know, as George kind of stops bouncing, but every time you move, he, like, turns his ear towards you. Like, whenever, like, anything crazy, like, turns and, and like, faces that Got person, it. too, but, like, closes his eyes while he's standing there. I think to amp up the fact that Finley thinks that George and Bori are, like, bros uh every so often bori will move (laughs) almost like testing your range of vision (laughs) but also to kind of disguise it as bugging you (laughs) bori remember that time at ten towns (laughs) you know i remember everything that's a lie What was that silver dragonborn's name? Uh, the one that thought he was the, the, the law keeper? <laughs> Wasn't it something silly like Cloud or something? <sighs> you didn't have to hit that guy that hard. You know that, right? I like hitting people. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta break something to remake it. That's how Morden works. I think you're gonna get to break plenty Karina of things today, this my whole friends. time is low key offended. <laughs> I, I, I was just I, sitting here going, it's not wrong. It's <laughs> I, I, I will say, even in the, the pitch blackness, those of you can, that see, again, can see that he's closed his eyes, but he's just turning towards you and he says, There's nobody else I'd rather be going on this mission with. You four are the. I'm not saying goodbye to you, damn it, but you four know what you're doing. Just just do your jobs, we're gonna get paid, and we're gonna go home. Aw, oh, we love you too, buddy. <laughs> I clap. Uh, George, like, I'm going for the back, but I forget once again that I'm not as tall oh, as I no. am. <laughs> and I just smack the left cheek as hard as I can. I'm like, ooh, fuck. You, when you do, he just gives you the bro shoulder thing. You know? I mean, like, you know you're a dwarf. You're, like, made out of concrete. Like, ah. <laughs> you know? like, and then yeah. Bori just stands there for a second, bouncing, like, oh, yeah. my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> but something you notice in this moment of camaraderie, especially after George says, like, I'm not saying goodbye, but I'm glad you're here. And you kind of, yeah, just giving that just familial knowing and genuine bonding. This is the most normal everything's felt. You can hear the word, like the cranking of the chain echoing down this extremely long uh, tunnel before you see faint light coming up to meet you and there's Game a faces. Could I just say one thing? Of course. I apologize. As, yep. as this light comes into focus, I say Alright. Bring out metronome. And I turn and look right at you and say, Bring out metronome. Yeah. <laughs> and uh 
I'm actually playing up the drunk a little bit more, and I'm gonna lean into George and go, I'm really sorry. I thought I could have sobered up by the time we got down here. I promise I'll be fine by the time we fight. Really out of it, buddy. It's it, I, I kind of. I'm lean, so sorry. I really thought I could handle it. Nah, it was a bet. I clearly lost that bet. I'm letting you down. I'm so just, sorry. You know, rock seek. That's why you don't do that. Okay. Just. What, what did you rock rock seed? What? <laughs> <laughs> I said rock seek is what I said. Oh, rock <laughs> and and kind of kind of puts a kind of puts a shoulder on you and says, look look. I can always count on you to keep it together when no one else does, all right? Mm -hmm. Just the hound. We need the hound. If you're a little off, the hound still does what it does, right? It should, yeah. Yeah. Just and... get the dog out here. <laughs> so the hound looks over at a penny and <laughs> just kind of the hound. <laughs> like yeah, it's your look so... like yeah. Yeah, the hound. Yeah. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. good and, old um, and, uh, and, and, metronome. And, and, and I will say also, when, when you're sort of thinking, you see George just kind of pulls his back off, bag off and he kind of rummages a little bit and pulls out actually a very nice silk pillow and shows it to you. It says, I know you hate camping when just got you a little something for when we have to lay our heads down. Okay? I like so. Oh, that was actually really nice of you. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> I never get used to that. Like I, I, never, I, I never get used to that. You know, it's like I, 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 I believe you. Just so, uh, <laughs> what do we do? <laughs> so. Bag the Raven Queen. No, I'm trying to think. Because Karina's best friend is a sorcerer, so she would have, she would recognize like Karina's entire friend group were all spellcasters. So, I'm trying to think how much she would recall to, like, cotton on to, like, a sorcerer summoning something. You think about this, and yeah. instinct kicks in. Mm -hmm. You don't even realize you're doing it. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and mark off three sorcery points. All right. As the shadows, as the light begins to fade, like, crest in, the shadows stretch out and begin to take shape. There it is, okay. Yeah, I found it on my sheet. As it begins to form into this massive hound. It's like a mastiff in size, mm -hmm. but its form constantly shifts like the shadows and the only thing, uh, yeah, in size, um, but could be the form of a, a wolf. Could yeah. be the form of some other four-legged, uh, just bestial creature that is this pouring shadows, and the only thing you see are just these baleful eyes, and you hear this growling. Um, I resist the urge to go pet the puppy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll say when when the Hound of Illomen appears, um, uh, George pulls out his drinking horn, and you see he makes three little pours, and he just taps it each time, and he says, three for the metronome, <laughs> and takes a sip, and then kind of tucks it back away. And if you refresh, it's added to your extras page. To my... Extras tab. Okay. And when we, I apologize if you want. Oh, to hey, this the, is three DM table. Let's do it. <laughs> with, with the flavor text. But I would just say as the hallway sort of stretches out in front of us, he just sort of nods his head and just like looks at you, Penny. Like doesn't say anything. Just like very expectantly. I step over <laughs> behind the person who's closest to me and hide. Okay. I slip into the shadows. Got it. No problem. Mm. And, I, and uh, the moment I actually, you see for a moment when you're walking, it's still like I'm turning my head towards you, and then it's like I stop following you, and mm -hmm. I just say, it's a job, not a competition, Penny. Remember, just do the job. You're the one who made the bet, and I pull my sword out. <laughs> <All right. laughs> oh, she's true. so right. <laughs> um, you can go ahead and make a stealth check. Okay. And make a make a either an opposing stealth or athletics your choice. Oh. These are skills. Hmm. Um, to to what end? Just for us, I make sure I roll the right thing. Uh, either a stealth check or an athletics check. Wow. Um, your choice. Yep. 
So I roll a one, but I have advantage. And my second die was a 19, which gives me a 32. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> Penny, it's not a competition. Oh my God. Uh, for my stealth is only a 25. <laughs> <laughs> But you notice is uh, whenever he's aware of you, it's like he's not trying to keep up with you. He clearly intends for you to go in front of him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, but her going ahead and having the upper hand, you even lose her uh, until the first um, like bugbear gets comes around the corner and coming out of the shadows, <laughs> you just see this tiny little halfling go, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you just stab it in the back, piercing through it with uh, the uh, the short sword. And as this unfortunate victim's body convulses oh, and contorts, oh. slimy, pulsating tendrils oh. burst forth from its flesh, writhing and burrowing deeper into its own anatomy. The appendages form an intricate network of veins pumping a sickly green fluid that replaces their body while their limbs twist and elongate into grotesque, unnatural proportions. And we all just was, there. Yeah. Was it George just walks up next to you and he goes, went easy on that one, and just walks past you. Although you do see he just takes a little pouch of coins that already he'd counted out 50 and tosses it to Sorth. <laughs> And he's like, worth the money every time. And I will reach into my pouch and put 50 in Penny's hand as well, <laughs> just kind of grumbling. <laughs> she dusts her shoulder, puts the money in her pouch, and jump back into the shadows. Ha uh-huh. And in the pay. shadows, she kind of curls over like this and gets a grip. So can we, can we, so we notice like, what we just saw, fucking horrific. Can we tell that like George not having any oh, kind of reaction? Oh, easy, easy. So, yeah. so it's clear that he did not see what we just saw. Correct. Got it. I will say, um, even though he has some idea what's happening here, uh, he puts his hand against the wall and closes his eyes and activates his primeval awareness to just know what's down here, <laughs> and just kind of slowly nods mm-hmm. and he says. <sighs> Some tough trail ahead, <laughs> and then just keeps oh. walking. Okay, so anytime yeah. we ask for a survival check, you'll be able to do so with advantage. Hey. Um, as you're doing that, uh, but we're just going to go through. I would just make a point. Sorry, that yes, he knows the he knows the presence of aberrations, celestials, dragons, elementals, fey fiends, or undead, but doesn't tell them. <laughs> he just sort of is like respect. Okay. <laughs> the, the answer for uh, those not throughout the uh, levels varies, yeah. but the answer is yes. The answer is yes. He's the like, answer yes. is yes. He's like, oh, we've come to the right place. Yeah. yeah. It's like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yep. They have yeah. some in stock. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, As you take a step, there is this another just jolt feeling as the next thing you notice, you're surrounded by dozens of bo- goblin bodies. Mm. <sighs> <sighs> okay, what is happening? Um. <sighs> I act out of breath. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody uh, make a dexterity saving throws. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, I'm not oh, good at fuck. that. I I'm real bad at that. Oh my god, twins. 13. 13, okay. 25. <laughs> cool, not great. twins. Hey, um, 11. You don't have to make it, um, <gasps> you Ethan. Bitch. What's your spell save DC? And go ahead and mark a third level spell slot off. You. Oh, right. Bitch. Fireball dust. <laughs> Yeah, okay, yeah! Yeah! Go ahead and roll uh, 8d6 uh, fire damage. Yeah, and my oh, spell save DC wow. is uh, 16. And I'm, and I'm gonna, and this will be a moment for you as you, the, if other reasons. I'm mad at Sorth now. Should have sculpted it around everybody, but didn't. But it hurt. <laughs> So how much damage was that? 30 points of damage me, if you fail. Let me ask just one, 15 quick, for pass, one, right? one, yeah. quick, uh, one quick question 16. I need to ask you. Mm-hmm. You take that. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. 
30 points if yeah. we fail? Question yeah. 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 Yep. Yeah. Yes. Oh, anything below a 16 is a fail. <laughs> I got a three. <sighs> Wait, would we have seen the fireball coming? I think we loaded in yep. as it was exploding. <laughs> yeah, okay. we loaded in okay. when it was... Uh, so nice. would, would like my pure... spell save DC not have... Oh, no, 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 never mind. Think never of mind. in the midst of combat fighting mm -hmm. these, mm -hmm. uh, Sorth released a fireball, yeah, yeah. exploded, and you... Uh, you see that uh, George felt no threat at this, seeing that bead of fiery light come in and mm -hmm. explode, but you see his mood instantly change as something was wrong about that. But it coming in, right. no yeah. problem. Okay. Right. It going off, problem. It's, yep. like, okay. Yeah, it's, uh, in, uh, the, the explosion, that was 36, you say? 30. Uh, 30. 30, just 30. Uh, I just say... You clumsy lizard bastard! What is wrong what with you? What the hell was that? I don't know. I have no idea why that happened. Maybe there's something down here. Oh, I just us. I wouldn't cast that on top of everybody. That well, you did. Sense. Look at the burns. I'm aware matter. of the burns. This it's just not something I would do. I this would is, not No, do it's that. not something you would do, Sorth. It's not something you would do. Hey, hey. Hey, let's, let's huddle up. Let's huddle up. Get over here. Let's huddle We're up. We're all alive. Hey, we're all alive. What's the best way for a monster to fuck with us? Make us fight each other instead of them. So why don't we keep it together? <clears throat> Charge. You were lucky that we had Morden's blessing, or that would have gone much worse. Mm -hmm. You're absolutely correct, what and Harold is do? kind of pissed Ball at himself changes. because he doesn't remember. If, if I'm not mistaken, I don't remember casting that. Oh no, not at all. Yeah, so Harold's kind of pissed at himself because he's like, "I use fireball the fucking time, and this is really frustrating to me." And I wouldn't have done that, but now he's going through this spell book. Trying to figure out why people are angry, and I imagine at this point he comes across the sculpt spell thing, and he's like, "You can do that? What a <laughs> fucking load of bullshit! <laughs> <laughs> why can't I? You know, I'm not. I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed in myself. You know, me too. I think we all. Hey, are. hey." Um, and you see, as this conversation is happening, and George is scalding Sorth. The corridor twists and distorts, elongating like a nightmarish labyrinth. The floor ripples with writhing, sinewy veins pulsating with a sickly greenish glow. As one, as you walk through, the walls close in. The rough surfaces morphing into gnarled claw-like protrusions, scraping and scratching with malicious intent. As you feel like this enclosing walls entrapping you, you see George is walking fine, and you are all slowing down, afraid that you are going to be swallowed by whatever this is. And then it's all back to normal, and George is a little bit ahead of you. Hey, hey, George, let's... Huddle for a second, actually. Um, I know that was really difficult, and I know we're in a dangerous place, but I think in this moment we need a team huddle. Let's everyone take a knee. Dude, the, his whole thing is judge people by their actions and not their words, and his actions were he just dropped a fireball on all of us. And it hurt. I. And you know what? But you know what? You know what else goes through fire? Iron. Iron, thank you. And then it gets reworked. So it's, let's, it's, let's it's, it's ruminate on, on these skills. That... And I'm going to cast Prayer of Healing. Okay. Please. Okay. Nice. Please. Nice. <laughs> it's not going to be much, but... Yeah, but I'll be Harold, not at half. <laughs> Harold's bristling, and he looks at George, and for a second he's about to be like, well, you know what you fucking did? <laughs> and stops himself in the last moment and calms down, but he is... Still pretty pissed off because he's just like I I I wouldn't do that. The fucking dream made me do it, and it's pissing him off. But he's like glaring at George with this like extra level of anger that is like that blatantly. If he knew what was going on, is I blame you for trying to destroy our fucking planet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Harold's like trying to like rein it in and play the part. I have and to I, use these passives, don't I? Yes. And I I know I know the Doesn't healing matter. the healing hasn't <laughs> happened yet, but if you notice, like as the burns are kind of like clearing up on George's face and healing, he just looks at you, Sorth, and he goes, "Look, you're the one who always stays calm, not me. 
Okay? Just... A lot's happening. I'm... If I can't count on you, I can't count on anyone, okay? Well, I will not make the same mistake twice. That hurt, bud. <laughs> and it's like, it's like the flesh is mending while he's talking to you here. Sorry, how many hit points was that? 15. Yeah, perfect. I, I'm at least not. Scared. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I would say when the 15 comes in, like while he's scolding Sorth, he just sort of gives you like the broy shoulder check there. <laughs> like, well, yeah. Yeah. That moment of the fireball hitting the head pops in. <laughs> it pops back mm-hmm. out. Like, just ah. it, it, And I, uh, like, I, I, you heal? I will say w- w- when you have that reaction, you see he turns and looks at you and he's like, you're going to aim a little better, right? Of course. And I, metronome's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll be fine. It's, you see, he looks at him like he's like wants to touch him also, and very much doesn't. Yeah. You know, it's like good. George good. likes the puppy. Got yeah. it. <laughs> um, everybody, make investigation checks. Oh. Uh, I'm good at this. It's my lucky number tonight. <laughs> George got a thank bi- gosh a big old eight. Nat twenty. <laughs> Scholarly eight. Yeah. Uh, Thirteen. I'm a man of action, not investigation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got a big old eight. Cool. Um, it's a so nat twenty, and I got a plus zero. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. That's all you need. That's all you need. As you're moving through the next couple of layers, you see that this area is divided in an all-out war. Um, there's cave-ins from obvious other explosions, and, um, th- you know, it's hard to tell if they are all fire-based, if they're spell-based, if they are beams that have been uh, taken out as structural strongholds, um, but there is a couple of traps you miss laid by some goblinoid creatures. Penny! What? We're only 25! <laughs> and you're good. You two are good. Oh, okay. okay. They're not. Wait. Being me, I would have tried to set off, or uh, set off set any off? that I could with Mage Hand from a distance. That is fine. Um, and that helps you for a couple. Okay. Uh, however, the size that you all just inherently start to realize is the the vastness of these it would take mm-hmm. you years literal years to traverse this and if you're trying to get to level 19 as soon as possible go. to get that wish to get that bounty there's not enough time to disarm every trap got it mm-hmm. might i do one small thing before mm-hmm. we sort of like rushed in oh, yeah you for flavor, I, I, I will say that at least Penny has told us. You know, it's like, oh, yeah? here, 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 and here. Mm-hmm. Oh. George casts Zone of Truth. Okay. <laughs> uh oh. Save DC is uh, Charisma 13, but if they make the save, he would know. Yep. Mm-hmm. I'm not resisting it because I know that. So, okay. Okay. why does this throw? wizard not have counter spell? <laughs> 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 Wait. I have counter spell. Would you counter? Would you would counter you do this? Though? I would no. <laughs> to be honest, because Karina's never resisted a zone of truth before. So H- Harold tries. Oh thank to God! <laughs> silent spell, counter spell, and when it doesn't happen, he mutters under his breath, "Fuck." Oh thank, thank God. God! That's a twenty-five for me. What kind of save is it? Charisma thirteen. Christmas oh, I don't you. pass. <laughs> you never Passing pass. <laughs> would you? I, would never, I always pass. I, I mean, I always pass. <laughs> <laughs> Penny, what'd you get? I didn't roll. I'm taking it. Oh, okay. It. So you know that uh, Penny and Sorth um, fa- uh, failed or accepted the uh, the spell. The other two have passed. Oh, Bori passed? I did. It's, I see, you very much see George looks at you and he's like, he never lies. Fine, okay, listen. And points down the tunnel and he's like, I don't know what's waiting down this tunnel, but I know there's nothing good. I could have told you that. Go Ring. on, George. Sorry. 
the chances of all of us coming back from this are very slim. The chances of most of us coming back from this are very slim. And before, I didn't have any question about all of your resolve to do whatever it took to get to the bottom of this fucking mountain. And I don't know if it's that you've been drinking, experimentation, competitive wagering, maybe you bet somebody else a, a higher sum that we wouldn't make it all the way down, but whatever's going to happen is more likely death than glory. And if any of you are gonna turn back, this is the exact second to go the fuck home. How about this, George? I'm going to see this through no matter how much I don't really want to be here. Because I have to. Why? It's my obligation. I'm sure Joaquin would release you. You know, you, your mother's probably dead by now anyway. You're 75. Like you don't I don't want anyone else to die. How about that, George? We just need to get to the bottom. You see, he very much takes a step close to you and he says, funny, you're usually so serene and now when you have to tell me the truth, there's this edge. Gentlemen, gentlemen, I'm better than both of you, so it doesn't matter. Oh shit, that, is that the truth? She, all she has to do she is believe it. it. <laughs> yeah. she, she, just, she just has to believe it. And you, you he turns and looks at you and even though technically he isn't under the compulsion of his own spell, he just looks at you and he says, Penny, those kids that bullied you growing up was a long time ago. Oh, shit. We're all on the same side this time. Or more accurately, I'm trying to make real fucking sure that we're all on the same side this time. Uh, Vinley looks down and notices a platinum ring on her hand. Mm -hmm. And she quickly looks at all the other hands to see if George has the other platinum ring. That's a spell casting focus between warding bond. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Bori turns when you say that and sticks out the hand with the ring on it. Looking like he wants you to shake his hand. I do. And as you do, you feel... I'm gonna take some liberties here. Don't go you feel as like, it's almost like, you know Damascus steel? Hmm. How it's pressed in heat, and that's what makes it stronger. That warding bond feeling, as Bori casts warding bond to reassure you, it almost feels like our two hands are pieces of Damascus steel being pressed into one. I will always be with you, George. You see, he sort of nods for a second, and he says, Okay, all right. I know you are twirdle a few words, mm. but you have never lied to me before. Are you in? Why do you think I was drinking earlier? <laughs> if this is going to be the end, I'm going to go out in style. All right, I think... This isn't the end, this is the beginning. After today, everyone will know the name of the Greenhorn Adventuring Troop. Whoop, whoop. And you see, he sort of like creaks down a little mm -hmm. and you actually sort of hear, it's almost like the leather of his pants like creaks slightly as you actually see <laughs> his quads like expand a little oh, as wow. he casts Long Strider oh. and it's like, now I'm not gonna let you win, Penny. <laughs> just down the, down the trap tunnel. <laughs> all right, just go all right. Beaten feet, you know? <laughs> Gerald sensor. is going, like once he's out of earshot, Harold's going to turn, he's not gonna say actually anything, he's gonna turn to the other three and his eyes are burning. Mm -hmm. It's Te like technically you still can't lie, it's the space. Uh, yeah, the and yeah, and he'll <laughs> just say out loud, he's like, this was what I was worried about. Right. And I'm we're, going to keep walking. We're getting so much information. I didn't want to like him. Now I do. And I'm going to keep walking. I'm still I, ambivalent. <laughs> I'm just going to send the dog to run kind of alongside George, since I imagine you're not going further than 120 feet. Sure. 
Uh, so yeah, uh, metronome kind of keeping pace, just in case. Okay. Cunning action. So I'm running for action, bonus action. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds great, yeah. <laughs> um, <Jam> movement. <laughs> You're so little, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where he's like yelling, like a ladies. <laughs> <laughs> I just go in my shell and roll. <laughs> I grab on. Die in a Jones style. I do not make a sound as I go. That's horrifying. Yeah. That you say that. Yeah. You're like an owl. On my back. <laughs> I am an owl. Um, Karina, this is so much. This is so much. Of the next one, I need everybody to make a wisdom saving throw as you're going through yeah, this level. Fine. This is also true for you. The area around you, the layers become slimy and wet with difficult terrain. It is fouled in some way. Um, You see that any water that's around, even water in your drinking skin, like when you go to drink it, it is soured and congealed. Like the viscous level of like aloe vera. Oh, oh, oh. that's very visceral. <laughs> Wait, yeah. guys, yeah. guys, look. <laughs> Boy <Boris> squirts <laughs> yeah. the water. Um, I, I would uh, I'd be like, check the ale. And it is congealed. And Do you think it, it's good to eat when? <laughs> I would say, like that, since, especially since I know the other three of you are keeping a close eye, when George sees that Bori doesn't have booze, he actually looks concerned. He looks more concerned with Bori not having access to alcohol than he did about the traps. He says, I are have, you going to be able to... I have a very high passive insight, so I pick up on that too. And Bori just calmly sets down the barrel of spoiled alcohol mm-hmm. that's been congealed, takes a step back, looks at the others like this is gonna get rough and just takes a hammer and crushes it <laughs> and it's like <laughs> and it just <laughs> and spreads out you notice that for the first time when anything ever goes weird uh, it's only for a short amount of time but this is scary. and George doesn't seem to react to it this level it doesn't go away and George is reacting to what it what level are we on? Uh, currently, I believe four. So we're on level four. Yeah, I'm in fact. You know, you're only four levels in. Oh, well, good. It's, hey, so there's going to be somebody down there. They're going to have a wine skin, you know. We'll, it's, we'll, we'll, we'll get it off of them. We're going to find some adventurous corpse or something. They, it will get you a drink. And did everybody roll wisdom saves? Yeah. 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 That's a yes. big old yeah. <laughs> 22, baby. 15. 21. He is not very wisdom Natural one for a seven. Yeah. You oh, successfully oh, rolled a disbelieve. Um, <laughs> um, at some point during this, um, Soth, George, and Bori. Bori turn against each other violently. So go ahead and mark off a skill or a spell. Ability, um, something. Just mark resources off. A resource off. Um, oh, shit. As you move through there, this... Almost, it's, it goes montage You have no control over your actions. You have no control over what you're doing. But it is a fight against each other and a mass of Kuatoa that are swarming. And you think that it is the end like this is it but there's a moment where this these three eyes one on top of each other glowing in the background as george leaps and stabs it into one of them all three of your minds come back to yourself and you flee together how much damage did they i take it i recognized an apple 100 percent. yeah um 21 you see that George did not kill it, but got it to go away enough to free your minds. We all took 21? Yeah, just <laughs> making it easy. The three of them? or Three of them, okay. yes. Yeah. Um, as as it, it, almost like sloshing, moving through, the floor underneath you cracks and crumbles. 
revealing a writhing mass of tangled roots that writhe and slither, seeking to ensnare any unfortunate soul who dares step on them. Putrid tendrils emerge from the gaps, groping and grasping as if hungry for flesh. The ground shifts beneath your feet as the very earth is alive, seething with unseen horrors. This you don't notice. This everyone else does. And uh, see, it's almost like if you will allow me some flavor, it sort of starts like coming all up around, and I'm looking at the blood from the thing whose eye stabbed. And I'm like, well, we understand why nobody's made it this far yet, right? <laughs> Good job. Um, I would have done it, but well, I was, you didn't. I was busy, so, right? Trying hey. to keep you all from killing each other. And from the horde of Kuatoa, everybody take fifteen points of damage. Ouch. Ouch. I hate In those between fish. that, Kuatoa. could. Uh, Bori have done another prayer of healing. 100%. Cool. How and much? I did not use that as my count off during that. That's point. okay. How yep. much? 18. Ooh. Yep. That's good, because I'm hurt. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's yeah, same. Back at max. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> Bori gets us through these every time. Um, and you're starting to feel out your roles a little bit more. Um, and finding that rhythm, although it is very bumpy along the way to find what niche you are filling and how you work together. But the other thing you start to notice as your mind is kind of filling in these gaps of hazy, blurred visions of uh, mainly just snapshots of everything. There's a reason why people don't come down here, and there's an even more so reason why people don't come back. and you all start to, uh, through that instinct, just get these abilities of the bodies you're inhabiting, realizing that you were a forged domain, not life. Yes. I... <laughs> Understanding that your arcane trickster abilities of using illusion along with the mage hand ledgermen. I am like jumping off the walls and doing mm-hmm. acrobatics in the fights too. Yep. You relishing yep. the high decks. <laughs> that total the, manipulating the shadows themselves with the hound of ill omen. And Shadow Sorcerer, baby. Yep. And Harold, you inhabiting this dragonborn who is an evocation wizard, probably at times hanging back, just whispering to uh Vinley Do- Bori uh, of of questions about things, understanding that you are all fire all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Which, or like... Kira, I, I'm I'm actually just trying to channel my inner Orkira the entire time. Hundred percent. Karina's like giggling to herself, like that these powers are so much cooler than her friends. Like <laughs> yep. her friend who was a sorcerer, she's like, oh, this is so much neater. He could have done this the whole time. <laughs> You (laughs) moving through into level five, it is a forest of trees, but to you all, they are flesh. And the sap bleeds blood, and the limbs are tendrils that reach out. To you, they're trees, they're a forest. Every time I watch them kind of like recoil, I'm like, what? (laughs) I am trying to (laughs) mimic George's uh, emotions, seeing things. Okay. I would just say two things. One is we're fighting and doing well. Just every once in a while, each of you just kind of like get like little nods yeah. and stuff. It's just like afterwards, I'm like, you good? You good, yeah. And I will say for George, only thing you see him doing is he has two long swords and he is just a buzzsaw. Yeah. Every time there's a thing, he just head first into it and is hacking and saying he's really fast. <laughs> You said yeah. bus, so I thought of like the, the fucking windmill art. Exactly, from like General <laughs> Kenobi. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's it. Yep. Uh, or he's doing his best to say next to George. I'm keeping an eye on Metronome. I will say it is almost like um, he almost has no concern for his own well being at all, and then he'll stop and he's bleeding, and he just looks at you for a second, and you do that, and he goes back forward. Yeah. Um, Getting into the the groove of everything and kind of feeling that camaraderie of Karina when you had your friends in your old world and kind of where the BFGs were right before you all left Waterdeep the first time, yeah. right before you made your way to Daggerford and things kind of took a hard turn. Like um, just friends having fun. 
just a group of friends. The, yeah. The BFGs. And there is level after level after level that just kind of just washes away. You remember snapshots of fighting a green dragon, uh, troglodytes, um, all of these trolls, you know, covered in arcane runes. You hear whispers of the mad mage. You find drow that are not um, tied to uh, Jarlaxle, but of House Freth. Um, at some point you look and as you're montage moving through these twisted, strange memories, you watch the leather armor on George begin to pulse and bulge, almost growing welts and tumors and blisters as it grows and shifts into purple half plate. Mm. Uh, after one of these times of fighting, <clears throat> in having geared up a little bit, uh, and kind of stops, and he's elbow deep in just filth and viscera of things that he's killed, and he just keeps, you notice he's pretty uh, relentless about making sure the swords are clean, but not himself. So there's no pattern of what's been splattered of his blood and everyone else's. And he just sort of stops and he says, we're going to win. Of course we're going to win. Of course we're going to win. But, um, sorry, I'm sorry for what I said about your mom. Uh, it's fine. I'm sorry I got agitated. If, if I don't, make it out of these mines. My dad's still in Baldur's Gate. Will at least one of you make sure my sword gets back to him. We'll do. George. Leave me one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I will get out regardless, so yeah. We'll make sure I'll it take gets it. back to him. But George, George, you'll make it out. If there's anyone among us who's going to make it out of here, I have it on pretty good authority it'll be you. Told you, no goodbyes. <laughs> just keeps. Uh... George, you know I'm the one that is more honest with you than anything. If you don't make it out, where can we find your father in Baldur's Gate? Dungeon Masters, I had let I let you decide if I have a chance to tell him where my father is in Baldur's Gate. Where I would the say at first. this point there was probably a. Your father, especially being from Baldur's Gate, wanted something more of you. Um, and there was probably something your father was tied to that you didn't quite agree with. Although there's still some familial respect, um, and you would like the honor of being... of, of letting your father know the truth uh, of your fate. Um, but as of right now, you probably are just... I know he's in Baldur's Gate. Yeah, he was... Um... We haven't talked in many years. He uh, wanted me to go the religious route. Mm. It's a great route. <laughs> it's a great route for you. <laughs> and you. It's not for everyone. And George just holds the sword up and he goes, mine was a little different. I, uh, <laughs> I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but I guess you're gonna find out when we get there. When I get my wish, that's uh, setting that situation to rights is what I want. The coin I'm gonna get out of every dead body between here and there, but um, mending some mistakes. I think that's got to be within the genie's power. Well, I hope you get it. Yeah, I said some things I probably shouldn't have, and so did he, but. Uh, <clears throat> mistakes can be forgiven, George. Are you gonna wish for his memories to be wiped? How are, how are they going to fix that? You see, he moves real close to Penny, and he kind of bends down, and he says, we don't have to tell the truth anymore, Penny. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> um, kind of, again, it's almost like this um, 
it is almost like a shell opens up and you see a little bit of vulnerability and then it mm -hmm. goes back to, yeah, but, you know, whatever. But we're going to win, so it kind of, you know, yeah. this whole thing's like, whatever. yeah, whatever. I just wink at yeah, him. Yeah, whatever. He's like, uh, George, do you uh, really think a wish could fix all of the problems? And you see he stops and he looks at you, Sorth, and he says, if it can't, then what was the point of any of this? If there's not some power out there that can help us realize what we want, <laughs> a vision, a purpose, a meaning. There is. Sorry, continue. I'm so sorry. I'll stop. He's the zealot, not you. I know, but this, Morden is the best. This is what happens when you don't drink. You just become a zealot when you don't drink. Maybe, yeah. sorry, maybe if you just been... You know, I've been thinking about shaving, actually. But uh, I, 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 got, I gotta ask. <laughs> I, I gotta ask. What, what are you guys going to wish for? I, I know you purpose and love, and it, it sounds ridiculous, but, but what do you want? And the vision at this point, as he asks this, you're all sitting around a small fire, having just completed level 18, staring to oh. the, the way down to 19. I knew you were going to do this. <laughs> I'm going to cast Control Flames, and I'm going to show the city of water deep inside it. And Harold is staring through the eyes of this dragonborn, and tears fills his eyes. I'm, I'm going to wish for a rich future for the water deep. That's what I'm going to wish for. When you say that, George looks at you and he says, "You never ask for help," and you would take your one chance to help everybody else? It would be helping everybody else. Maybe, maybe there's some things, if we all make it out of here, I can explain to you. Assuming we all make it out. We're going to, obviously, we're just, uh, but if you don't, Sarah, I met your mom, you know, she, she hated me for taking her little boy away, but is there anything you want us to take back to tell her? I, I could never, she's, I thought you were calm. She's like a statue. It's the strangest thing, but I could just tell in her eyes she didn't like us. But is there anything you want to take her, tell her? Tell her we weren't wrong in following you. Mm. wasn't weird good and you see it's almost like George has a moment where he truly doesn't know how to react because at the risk of being meta neither wisdom nor charisma are his thing so he's just <laughs> sort of like you, you, you're kind of frail but he gives you kind of the clap on the shoulder then mm, mm -hmm. the thoughts and mm -hmm. prayers <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But there is a bitterness in Harold's voice, the way he says it, but it's barely perceptible. It's yeah. just this, like, Harold doesn't like the fact that George was a guy that he would have followed and he'd be in the same position. There's something about liking him that makes Harold sick. Roxy, I know, uh, <laughs> tell it like it is, you're not really one for questions, but um, if you would let me burden you with a question. Yeah. Sure. It's, I know you hate roughhousing it. I know. So I, I I'm not even gonna tell you what I think you want. What, what, what's the, what's the wish? I mean, I meant it with the island in a way. Uh, you, you didn't mention the palace on the on the island. Is of that, course, is that it? The of silk, course. silk sheets the and I, the red sea. The island is a given. Right. It's the just, palace is a given right. on the island. But no, I just, uh, I don't know. I think, I think, uh, I might be willing to hang it up. After all this, yeah, the, you never were one for the big show, the modesty. I get it. That's that's your thing. That's the, the modesty is possible. It's not but, actually but, in my religion. So step off. <laughs> <laughs> God, I get you me. <laughs> you. I don't, Bori Smeltmaster. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> literally follow you into the abyss and back, but I would do it with a wineskin. What, what, what is it that you want? 
I don't know, George. I was thinking, um, it's stupid. And he kind of kicks <laughs> a rock. <laughs> it's stupid. You want your god daddy to pay attention to you? <laughs> no, he already does that. Thanks. Um, <laughs> More inspirational tattoos? No, I just, I've been alive for a little while. Y'all know that. Um, I mean, you're only 280. That's like... He's than me. <laughs> <laughs> Literally has in the back of her head. Uh, and he like kind of chuckles and then says, I don't know, I just kind of thought I'd wish for us to be friends for a very long time, possibly forever if y'all are cool with that. You know what? I, I was going to tell Penny I got bad news for her that wish to be the best can't come true because she already did it. We're already going to be friends forever. <sighs> Boy, like, I think Vinley, like, jumps back into, like, okay, now I have to do what Voss does when he gets emotional. And Bori just kind of sits back and, like, looks down at his cup. And is like, hmm. And just keeps, like, agreeing silently, like, pretending he's emotional. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. This, we are super close. Best friends. You just get the same broy shoulder again, <laughs> you know? It's like... Each time you do it, it's a little firmer as Vinley is beginning to expect when it's happening. <laughs> yeah. And she leans into that one like, ah, not this time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rossik is also just like scritching. Uh, metronome. Yeah. <laughs> so, Penny. Yeah, Penny. If you wish to win every time... Oh, that's what's not the, my wish. What's the fun in that? Yeah. Exactly. I mean, I don't need to wish. Like you said, I already am. I want a nice BLT sandwich. <laughs> I know you hate change. Why would you wish for things to be any different than they are? That's uh, Penny Longfoot. You are as steady as the sun rising tomorrow. <laughs> no. I figured it all out, so. Sometimes it, must, it rises yesterday. It must be a tremendous burden to have peaked at 26, huh? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Genuine snarf from Bori and yeah. Vidley. <laughs> Genuine laugh from, uh, from Roxique and Kareem. <laughs> After you all kind of have this modicum of a warm moment in, quite frankly, this apocalyptic place, he just pulls out the horn and he's like, know what we have left to drink, but um, it just holds it up for everybody. I this think the drinking is the important part. It to absolutely is. Green horn adventuring troop. To the green horns. <laughs> and I do the <laughs> stealth <Right>. drink again. <laughs> I, do, I do that thing you do when the alcohol's nasty where you just let it touch your lip and then put it back <laughs> in. George. Yes, Orth. I have one question for you. I know the things you want you feel you must seek something beyond the gods to reach. Is there the possibility that there, if, if the road was treacherous to get that wish beyond what is morally acceptable, would you still take it? <laughs> We're philosophizing, and he looks at the empty horn, and he's like, "Didn't have enough left for this." Absolutely you know, not. You know what I think, Sorth? What's that? You know, those goblins you dropped that fireball on. It wasn't just the goblins. That was like five days ago, though. So. As it was, and it still hurts. <laughs> but yeah, those goblins didn't plan to die that day. And they had mama goblins and daddy goblins and probably little baby goblins waiting on them at home. The bugbears, the drow. To all of them, we're the monsters. So, past a certain point, if we're going to be somebody's monster, only thing you can do is get what you can to the best of your ability. I'm sure. There's a lot of mamas and brothers and children that are cursing all of our names in towns up and down the Sword Coast. 
we don't have to like laughing, it. But it's like, <laughs> yeah, Harold just straight. He says it without thinking about being sorry. We don't have to like it. I don't like it, but you asked me if I do it, and the answer is we've been doing it, friend. <laughs> we've been doing it. I'm and Harold kind of grimaces slightly and says, "That answer." That does answer my question. But hey, uh, sack in, I'll take the first watch. One more floor. You know, they say nobody's ever been down here, at least never been down here and come back. But if that was true, how would we know about the genies, right? So. That's very true, actually. That's very logical. Must... Unless somebody made it up. Who would if do somebody that? made it up, I will find them and execute them. <laughs> <laughs> A jerk. <laughs> Rack in. <sighs> Back in, and you see, he sort of stands up, and he almost goes back that same thing that he did on the elevator down, what was a couple of days ago, but feels like it might have been six months, and is like bouncing slightly and kind of <laughs> rubbing the hilts of the sword. Just says, "One more floor, one more floor, and it's all worth it." I hope so. Yes. Oh, one more floor, and it's all worth it. I'm going to sleep. All right, we're doing one person watches or like no, two. No, I'll, I'll stay awake with oh. George. Oh, you can't get your rest. <clears throat> I'm. I'm got, staying with I'm y'all too. I gotta. I got like another hour with Metronome. I'm gonna enjoy it. You know, nothing can sneak up on me, Penny. If you Bench. just want to take a walk, I we can, can take a walk. You cannot. We've really? Been, yes. Really? really. Yes. Really. All right. And you see, he closes his eyes, and every time you get nearby, he's like. <laughs> 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 he always right up to where you I are. I pull my hood up. And then, at the risk of being meta, he's got blindsight. So if, she, if Penny can counter blindsight, he doesn't know. I have know shoes if of elven kind, yep. which <laughs> remove any trace sound of me moving, and a cloak of elven kind, which makes it much more difficult to perceive me when I am hidden. That's great, but within 10 feet, he knows where you are. Nice. Yep. <laughs> you I find, still try. For once, yeah. he finally actually, fakes like, uh, uh, actually, uh, uh, boop. <laughs> Ten feet away, and just grab the back of his head with mage hand. <laughs> yeah, I say when you stay ten feet away and mage hand him, he whips around and both swords come out and just slashes at something. It's like real from the shadows. Really? But you were over there. Really? Uh, you told me to touch things across the room more often. Well, things that's just sitting there like <laughs> things that touch our heads down here tend to be wanting to eat our brains. But the point stands. So does mine. And like, how do you feel about those kind of creatures? Like, super negative against them, George? Don't like things that suck brains out of heads? Subtle. I realize I'm not the intellectual that Sorth is, but contrary to popular opinion, I do use my brain for some things. Mm, good to know. And with that, yeah. everything melts and shifts. Damn. And you find yourselves... You're not sure how much time has passed. All of the benefits you got from the long rest already gone once again as you've been fighting your way through this last, or the layer that you've all been trying to get to. You've noticed as much as you've tried to hunt down these genies too, you've heard of, you can see remnants of opposing forces here. One, a Tao, and one, a, a Merid of earth and water. But there are other things here that don't seem right. And at first you think it's the visions on the side of your peripheral, but you see that George is reacting to them as well. The ancient stone and statues and everything around here written on these walls, these contorts in grotesque fashion. Its elegance feature warping into a nightmarish visage. The smooth surface cracks and fissures, revealing rows of serrated teeth that slowly open up, dripping with a vile, corrosive substance. The statues and effigies to these two once great beings elongate and twist, forming a tangled mass of appendages that reach out with an insatiable desire to ensnare and devour any who draw near. You see the two 
what once were genies now, their skin blister and peel away, revealing a horror of shifty, fleshing landscapes underneath. Mouths and eyes appear sporadically across their body, each one filled with an insatiable hunger for consumption. Their torso splits open to reveal writhing mass of wriggling, slug-like creatures, each one gnashing its jagged teeth and oozing a putrid slime as they move in wriggling, undulating dance of agony. All of you are overrun and overtaken. Go, 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 go! It's a, it was a lie, it was a lie! Fall back, fall back! When you try, tendrils and tentacles wrap around you. George, you look as those, your family, stand before you. There is a moment that you can see the path behind you. Sorth, the fireball, do it again! Drop it on us, do it again! And you look as tendrils rip into his mouth and rip the head open, tearing from cheek back to head, brains no. leaking down. No, I just, I just, no! You see Bori grabbed and grippled. And I think Vinley, in that moment where she sees Thorin rip open, I think Vinley in that moment is like, Harold! As she's trying to pull the tentacles off of Bori's body. Okay. <laughs> Penny, Penny, nothing, nothing can catch you, Penny. Get it, get it, just, uh, Roxique, your shell, your shell, they can't get in your shell, I know they can't. And with that, they're, they're, they're overrun. I said, I'll, I'll, I'll get help, I'll, I'll come back, I, I just, I, I can't, we can't all. And George turns and runs, fleeing down in cowardice and guilt. Save watching. yourselves! He runs, cutting corners, going down random tunnels, no longer inhabiting your bodies, but almost like an overhead view of him running behind him. Help! Help! Adventurous! Help! Miss, an ambush! My friends are taken! Help! Going, just taking turns, moving through things, when at last he stops to catch his breath. <laughs> And you hear he takes a deep breath and it's almost like his wounds start healing just by his will. And he's like, oh, okay, all right, come on, come on. And, and for a second you you find yourself at the a black ob obelisk effigy and you hear whispers. Is it help? Someone heard your cries or is it your party crying out for you? But then you realize it's all in your mind. You get a little bit closer it feels like the whispers are coming from this effigy itself i would have my wish i i would have my wish i don't know what gods wrought these whores but i will have my wish and you move up and you touch it and, and you i hear attempt to activate my primeval sense because i i have a way i, I have a, a sense of things when i touch them you hear the softest whisper of a name Shathrakat. And with that, you feel this intense power of pure, aberrant energy. This, whatever this effigy is, it's leaking now with this black, silvery ichor. And a tendril wraps around you and pulls you under into this well of this black ichor that now seeps below where you just touched. My friends, I'm sorry! <laughs> and you're unsure how much time passes, but he emerges once again, his eyes black and filled with the nebula of the far realm. He hears the cries of his friends and you all see him approaching, each of you in your last breaths. clinging to the last threads of life. Your friend no longer himself covered in black silvery ichor over the next unknowable amount of time. He peels the skin from each of you and forms my friends. The we armor won. attaching them to himself, draping you like trophies 
as he submerges himself once again in the ichor as it pours out of the spiral eye of Ganadar. I wish it was granted. Black stone of Shathragat in the center. Yeah, together, forever boring. Purpose, rest, water deep, sort I'll do it for you, my friend. I'll do it. When you hear in your mind the last whispers, you are mine, child. And emerging out of the ichor once again, you see his purple breastplate and half-plate armor now stretched with the organic visages of pain and cries and screams of your last moments and as if the armor itself is forged from your face. But George, uh, uh, and, and th there's something different here that you all notice. Because when you saw George, he was crying in agony. He was weeping at what he had done, but you watched this George revel in it. Let's say I still have the warding bond ring. Oh, and Boral's hand is right here. And just reaches like their fingers intertwine and say, Friends forever. <laughs> and at this point, you realize that George looks at each and every one of you as you blink and you're no longer in this memory, but you're in, back in this dream world with the um, shards of amber coming out and the pods and you're all staring and looking at George as he looks at all of you. Little holes begin to form on the face and grow Sounds larger. Good. As they peel away, and what is underneath is not eyes, but a nebula void of stars. <sighs> Friends. Vin. And you see the finger, the hand with the ring comes and starts to work its fingers into some of the holes and starts to pull it back. And you see a beautiful, familiar face. Findley. Seisha. No. Ah, I move over to Findley. You didn't think you could come here to my home and I wouldn't come back to greet you. And as she stands there, like she's made out of the stuff of stars, across Nebula's abdomen, a mouth begins to smile with long fangs. Seisha. It's okay. You've come to complete our bargain, right? And I think that is the perfect time to take a break. <laughs> oh! Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> Really yeah. good job, everybody. That was fantastic. <laughs> Are we oh. out? Uh, uh, no, yeah, that, so so, so uh, we will be back in just uh, a few moments. If you haven't done so already, please enter hashtag Eldritch into the chat for your chance to win an Eldritch Foundry miniature. It's Welcome. Super happy fun time. Yeah. Everything's oh, by fun the way, time. we're we're officially D four as Dustin, Devin, and Dave DM yeah. you. I got See my robes. <laughs> I have four pages of notes already. <laughs> I will. Uh, I will say this for Karina. Seisha walked away from your side to reach Vinley's, and you just watched something oh. earth out of a bunch of holes. I was we'll giving see. a moment. Yeah, we'll see you soon. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Amen. And we're back. Welcome to D4, where <laughs> I, Dustin. And I, Devin. And I, Dave. And I, Rhea. <laughs> Try DM. <laughs> 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 uh, the BFGs had a very dangerous uh, idea to dive into the mind of George Forsworn, a man corrupted by the elder evils themselves, gained a lot of information into the uh, Greenhorn Adventuring Troop in the last moments of their lives. I was just saying four pages. <laughs> yeah, now four pages in there. <laughs> <laughs> and then at the end of that dreamland sequence, an old friend. Uh, Vinley's. I don't know who you're talking about. A bargain struck so long ago. Echoes of the words. 
You're lying to your friends, aren't you, star child? Echo in your mind of Baba Yaga's voice as you look upon a beautiful woman made of the stars themselves with this gaping mouth of tendrils and teeth emerging from her abdomen. As you now stand back on the organic living planet that is wherever you find yourself within the realms that are far, far away. And that is where we're going to pick up as the skin of George Forsworn is peeled away. And Nebula looks towards you, Vinley. Look at my face. Look at my face. I'm the captain. <laughs> I immediately move next to Vinley. I would have also, yeah, seeing Vinley getting scared, because uh, we said mm-hmm. Seisha moved away, but mm-hmm. seeing her go towards Vinley, I actually would have gone with her in a protective stance. Okay. Oh, I'm going to circle around behind Nebula. Oh, there's oh. another one. Delightful. What's its name? Cora. Where's... V. She seemed so upset when we last met. I all f- maybe thought she'd want to have a um, conversation. She her died. Pool, her pool is on fire, so she had to stay back on Toril. Mm-hmm. You all are terrible liars. She's the only one that was smart enough. She didn't want to see you. Oh. Have you told her about me? I will be. So sad, Vinley, if you haven't told her about me. You know? What is it you want? I've had a little bit bigger problems than you, Nebula. When Harold says, what do you want? She just points at you, Harold. And you begin to gag and retch. And uh, worms come pouring out of your mouth. I haven't forgotten about you, warlock. You said you wouldn't hurt them, Nebula. I said I wouldn't harm them then. (laughs) But you still have the ability to maintain our arrangement. And as these worms begin to mass around your ankles, Harold, they begin to form and coalesce into a vaguely humanoid outline as Death's mask emerges out of the wriggling mask and just says, Harold. Looking good, friend. I thought we killed him. You know what I thought we were dead to. And Nebula says, well, here's the thing, Vinley. Some <clears throat> more effective adventurers did temporarily inhibit us, but the advantage of being here in this place is we are whatever we choose to be. So many friends gone, so many missing. There were, oh, hmm. Before we get started, tell me about yourself. So beautiful, so strong. I actually would prefer to learn a bit more about you. I have an affinity for the stars myself. Oh. I don't know how long you've traveled with them, but Vinley, and you see she turns and very much makes a point to look in your eyes, and her face, again, doesn't have eyes as such. She's Uh just swirling star matter when you look at her, and she says... Oh, Vas. What about him? Not friends anymore. Yeah, we are. Are you sure? I'm positive. Did you ask him? Boss and I are on perfectly good terms. How would you? As of even a couple days ago. How would you know Vas's mind better than me? It's interesting that you know so much, but not enough to save your mother from George. All this power, all this fury, fail 
kills when it matters most. In depth, sort of. It's like the mound is collapsing and reforming when he walks and kind of comes towards you. I, there's only one thing to say. Uh, Welcome to the list. <laughs> Karina, I know you apparently don't know me. Besides, I'm sure, uh, hushed whispers. Oh, I did give the name Cora. Oh, sorry, apologies, okay. Cora. She says, <laughs> Karina, though. Let's hold world. You know what's so strange? Would you like to know a secret? Freely given, yes. <laughs> You've learned your lesson about accords. That's probably for the best. <laughs> Someone scarier taught me that lesson. Your friend is afraid. Do you know of what, Harold? I have some ideas. <laughs> that just maybe all of this is some sort of dream. <laughs> that any life so sweet can't possibly be real, can't possibly be eternal, and I must tell you in my experience that's true. I just must know. You sent your friends, Mert, Dernan, Salazar, Toshin, Vondria, Rene, or Karnan, more heroes than I care to remember, off in the service of Waterdeep, off to their doom while you all are sleeping. They're not there yet. Shows what you know. <sighs> Seisha. You are correct in one thing. I do not suffer from the same limitations of linear time that you do. Your end is completely transparent to me. Your screams of agony and death. Music to my ears, but what it's worth. I like the tormentor better. She at least has a solidarity of purpose. And not all this pitiful pretending <laughs> towards goodness. You made the deal. Deals are important. They are. And you will live up to it, as Vinley will. So, hmm. All of this adventuring, all of this journeying, all of this heroism has brought you back here to us, Depth. What do you think we should do? Last time. Karina, remember. Sorry, Vinley, remember. And Vinley, you are back there on a beer, in that twisted reflection of Waterdeep, of that terrifying city, of chaos and screams in danger, of freely fighting. It's like, ah, nah, okay, hang on, this is not going well, but, but we're gonna be okay. And everybody being swarmed by these star swarm adversaries that just won't die, just won't stop. And you see Nebula there saying, I'm not your enemy, Vinley. Then what are you? I am an opportunity. I'll spare your friends. I'll even spare you the guilt of what you're about to agree to in exchange for Seisha's life, vast for Harold. I rather like Harold. He's made up of mismatched parts. I wonder if I could take his parts and sew them into something else. No. That giant may feel owed somehow. And there will come a time, no time soon for you, 
yesterday from me that you will be called upon to interfere in some matters that are beyond your comprehension. The tablets of Inley. I know you don't understand what that means right now, but you will one day. And do you know what I would like you to do, Vindley? No, but I'm sure you'll tell me. I'd like you to do nothing, Vindley. When the time comes, do not touch them. Do not interfere with them. You don't have to betray your friends. I see that seems to mean something to you. The only thing you have to do is when they need you, nothing. And we will leave right now. You expect her to have the cowardice of George Foster. This, this is a okay. flashback. You know, this is the Far Realms. I actually will let allow you to be there. I will actually say you can say that to her. And she looks at you and she says, Oh, no, 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 sweetheart. You're new. This is the past. The ink is dry. Vinley already said yes. And you see in that moment, them fighting bravely, but losing. Yeah. You've seen your friends resolute. You do see Nebula say, and this, Seisha, you did hear at the time. The heroes there at the time look at Vinley, and Nebula simply says, then we have an accord. And the star spawn start fleeing, and you're back here in this twisted, broken place. And Depth says, Now you weren't there. These two were. They were just too weak to do anything about it. Had the tables been turned, what would you have done? And he does that same sort of collapsing and reforming coming closer to you. Like, you fancy yourself a child of the stars as well. We could teach you the true nature of eternity, if you like. I am from beyond eternity. I understand it well. <laughs> there is no shame in what Vinley did. Vinley is strong, and Vinley made the choice best for the time. So if your goal is for me to look at her with a new light, I don't. Oh, if you don't look at her with a new light, then you are a great fool, because you now know on your grand quest, she cannot be counted on. No. You are a grand fool for thinking that you understand me. She can be counted on in so many ways. We're a group. We're family. When one of us can't do something, the others step up and take care of it. Well, It's she... okay, Venley. It's okay. I did it. Oh. I know. I know, Didn't but you know you? what? You made the best choice with the information you had at the time, and there's nothing shameful in that. Now that's true. Oh, just on the off chance um, you were thinking of betraying me and breaking our accord, she leans in close to you, and your mind is filled with a horrific, nightmarish vision of the parameters of this curse, of the accord you entered into freely, of the cost if Vinley were to breach it, if Vinley were to interfere with the tablets. Shit. <sighs> Vinley like gets very lightheaded at that because usually she's gotten used to her magic items that help her repel any kind of psychic tampering. So this direct assault kind of sets her back and she like gets a little lightheaded. I and set I, my staff in front of you for you to prop up on. I hold her. That is adorable. <laughs> and as he coughs, it's almost like a few more worms kind of come out of the mask, like almost projected. And he just says, mm, uh, For what it's worth, we reformed. We were reborn by your hatred. V in particular helped us. She's so mad at us. And you are so scared of us. And as long as the memory of us exists, we exist. So, but I know, heroes, you think you can solve everything with violence. You have no idea where you are, how things work here. But I would be remiss if I didn't give you an opportunity to lose to us yet again. 
And you see, she does sort of like, she leans in and she actually kisses you on the cheek, Minley. And it is shockingly warm. Her horrifying nature is completely betrayed by her presence. When the mouth closes, she looks almost angelic. And her presence is comforting. And she steps backwards and she says, whatever's about to happen, I will let you live. You must carry the weight of this. Um, <clears throat> so, whatever you want to say, whatever you want to do, have at us heroes. I cast haste on myself. <laughs> <laughs> when, you, when you start to move slightly faster, Dev looks at you and he says, too slow last time. Let's see how it goes now. Let's have fun. Everybody, Everybody roll initiative. initiative. <laughs> oh, <shit>. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Fuck. I would like to right apologize now? to the audience. These two are terrible. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> terrible by the time. <laughs> Rhea, same roll. Work. <laughs> uh, I see Harold's on D&D Beyond with a 23. Seisha, what did you get? I got an 18. All right. Finley. And, well, it may be different numbers, but. Yeah. 24. And? 23. Hey. Uh, I think good. I think Harold has higher decks than me. So he would go first. Uh, oh, I've well, got a plus two. I don't know. Oh, I've got a plus three. So, yeah, I think, you're, okay. I think you're faster than me. We'll okay. see what order D&D Beyond puts it in. <laughs> and then, uh, <laughs> a dirty 20 for Nebula and a 15 for Depth. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay, at least I go before him. That's good. <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh, what and it, uh, almost like the dice let the story happen as B. Dave put it out uh, into the world, letting you all have the first run at initiatives. Uh, I was about to say, do we get a willing surprise round? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Vinley, uh, you're first. The only thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to move Harold over here and Depth over by Harald. Okay, so that's Nebula in front of us. Yep. Yep, you got Nebula here and Depth is over here. I will say, currently, she yeah. looks like the woman you're accustomed to, and currently, he looks like a larva mage. Yep. Uh, just a white porcelain mask and a robe over just a mass of goo. Yep. yep. <laughs> I remember it. Yep. I get the sense from what Nebula said to me that I'm okay to swing on her if I feel like it, <laughs> but whatever happens next is my fault. No, no. Uh, she was saying if you interfere with the tablets, it's right. your fault, but... No matter what, you won't die today. A, okay. A, a, a later issue. Yeah. A later quandary that Vinley will be confronted with. Then, she cannot intervene. Vinley, while shaking, uh, her mind, after that nightmare fuel that Nebula had placed into her mind, she snaps out of it and immediately say, sees Illitron frozen and exploding. And she looks up and just goes, Shut up, Nebula, and cast Hold Monster. All right. I will say, uh-huh. as you go, well, what's the save DC? Uh, 18. Uh, 18 what, sorry? Like, in wisdom, charisma. What? Uh, in a, a, 18 what kind? Of intelligence, intelligence wisdom, or wisdom or charisma. I'm so sorry. No, you're good. I think it's a wisdom A lot's save? happening. I believe think it's wisdom, but I want to play it. It should be a wisdom. Uh, it she, is wisdom, 18. She is unfortunately going to make that save. <sighs> I will say, she stops for a second and goes, Oh, 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 oh um, uh, I'm going to try cutting words. Wait, no, I don't think I can cutting words saves, can I? I think you can. You can. If you're a lore bard, yeah. you can cutting words saves. Yes. I, yeah. am a letting, I am a lore bard. I'm going to attempt it. Try it. Cutting uh, words, yep. Okay. What, what's the number she needed, by the way? 18. Okay. 18. Okay. Uh, it's attack roll, ability check, damage roll. Uh, I think that's it. I don't okay, so not save. save. Oh, Got sorry. it. Yeah, we'll no worries. See, we'll see, I, she I, I, freezes I, for a second, and then she says, Oh, Vinley, one other thing, since I am nothing if not concerned about your well-being, I assure you, my child, you can die. Uh, <laughs> and her sword's not talking to her either. <laughs> 
and you hear, what is it? What is he talking about? The striker down! I am totally. Yeah. We are no, one. I know. I know. I know. We're good. Uh, We're good. And, but I will also note that when she says this, and when the you can die, the mouth and the the stomach is the one that said that. Love that. Vinley's like really taken aback and goes. After that, she's actually kind of scared, okay. and she's going to back up after casting that spell. How far? Uh, give me my full thirty, baby. 20, you going off the edge? Yeah, give me a round, any kind of cover. 30. So it's double move to get down. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's me. All right, Karina. Uh, with legend, Harold on deck. A legendary, oh. a legendary action is going to happen. There we go. So at the end of Vinley's turn, <laughs> oh, one of them is going to take a legendary action. Uh -oh. You see Nebula just sort of looks at you all and says, you still don't understand yet. And a ripple comes out from her in all directions. Uh, just like reality itself just warps and twists uh, as she unleashes a psychic wave in all directions. And I need a wisdom save. <sighs> yeah, and that'll hit everybody. Is mm -hmm. this a charm? It is not. You have plus three. Oh, yeah. It is not. So, plus three. <laughs> plus okay. seven. How large, how large is that? Plus three? <laughs> Ten feet. Or plus nine. Oh, yeah, not me. Just no. Karina. Okay. Okay. I got an 18. 19. 19. 26. 26. Mm. Harold? 11. <laughs> good. Uh, it's good. Only Seisha makes the, makes the save. Uh, 32 oh. points of psychic damage. I resist it. And you're not counting any resistances, and any spells on you or objects end. Okay. But that okay. does not affect me, right? It, yeah, you okay. beat it. Yep. Yeah. Okay, okay, so we beat it so nothing mm -hmm. happens. Okay. Yep. But any buffs that you've got up or, or uh, spells that are on items would end. Did you pass? Yeah, I passed. Oh. Uh, no, 23 is what you oh, needed. Oh, 23. Yeah, only. So, only oh, okay. passes. So, and it bypasses so what was the damage? Psychic resistance? No. Uh, it, the dam you still will only take, uh, for you, 16 points of damage. Cool. But you it still lose 32. 32. 32. Okay. Uh, and if you have any buffs up, you still lose, you lose yep. buffs. I don't think they want to. Didn't even have time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just dream time. Yeah. 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 Like, they're like, all right, we're going to, and we're not us. What? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's do this. Who the fuck? I would be so pissed if my haste got dispelled that fast. I'd be so pissed. Yeah, so that is dumb. the plight of a paladin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So good. Uh, all right. That is the legendary action. Karina. All right. So, with the extra fuck you in my soul, <laughs> uh, I am going to pop starry form. Uh, I am taking... They both very much look at you like, Oh. Oh wait. <laughs> I'm popping starry form uh dragon. Yep. No, no, no. And she's going that's, dragon. That's sapphire. <laughs> oh right. Um I'm popping dragon starry form, but I am flavoring my form to intentionally mirror nebula to look just like her. Okay. Except obviously no mouth and <laughs> tiny. Yeah. Um <laughs> as that is my bonus action, I'm gonna cast true strike. Be the dragon you want to see in the world. Uh, I'm <laughs> casting True Strike to uh, gain insight into the target's defenses, and then I will get advantage on my next turn. Uh, so you find out if she's got any resistances or no, vulnerabilities. Just, just gets advantage on the next oh. attack. No, oh, it, I get insight into the defenses. So I know oh, what the True Strike is advantage. It's the, there's a ranger thing that will tell specific details. Oh, no, yeah, I'm yeah. in range, 30. Perfect. Mm, the next turn. Right, yeah, the yeah. the insight into the target's defenses is what gives you the advantage. You don't get to know okay. like ACs yeah. and stuff like that. Okay, perfect. Yep. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, but you, uh, next attack roll will have advantage. advantage. Mm -hmm. And it's almost as if becoming that which you are aiming to hurt, you understand it greater. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was the goal of putting them together. Uh, uh, and I will stay exactly where I am. Okay. Okay. Don't move. Uh, end of. Karina's turn, any more, mm -hmm. any? Yep, another legendary action is gonna take place. Uh, Depth just looks at you, Seisha, and just sort of twitches, and you feel his mind pressing against yours, and I need a wisdom save. You got this, bestie. 
Yeah, I do. Uh, 21. Uh, Maybe. 21 is exactly enough. Oh! You, you, you see, oh. when, uh, when nothing happens, he just says, We'll have to try a different way then. And that's it for his legendary right. action. Uh, Harold! Uh, I am in such a bad spot right now. I'm literally sandwiched between them. Um... I am going to cast yeah. Greater Invisibility and move away from them. Where are you going? Do you all play with the Tax of Opportunity? Yes. I hate a Tax of Opportunity, but if he moves away, uh, Depth is going to hit him. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> he is currently... If he did Invisibility before that, does that... He did, yeah, okay. so it would create disadvantage. However, he's mm -hmm. currently flanked, so even it, out to a straight it, roll. It, it okay, doesn't. whatever. No, I'm just saying depth can see it. So if he, yeah. Oh right. Yeah. Right. There's that. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you just going away, Harold? Yeah, I'm just going to try to get out of there. Uh, are you going over the iridescent eggs, or are you going <laughs> around them? Uh, shout outs to, <laughs> shout outs to the D and D movie. I'm going over them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you are. Does depth get to his attack of opportunity? Yes. Yeah. Does Nebula? Uh, they yeah, both can you, see him. If yes. you so wish. Yeah, yeah. They, they both um, would get it. Um, we, we wish. <laughs> uh, also, um... <clears throat> high or low, Ethan? Uh, high? Seven. Cool. Uh, as you step and, and, and carefully move over the uh, eggs, you crack one of them uh, as your kind of foot goes in and there's something slimy and acidic mm -hmm. that just wraps around your leg as you quickly move away. Uh, go ahead and give me a con save. Oh, good. I'm going to be down this turn mm -hmm. for sure. Three. Ooh. You're going to take ten points of acid damage. Yeah, guys, this, this, is, this is it. <laughs> good, good, good news, bad news. Good news, bad news. Uh, uh, what, what is your AC, Harold? Fifteen. Bad news, bad news. Uh, yeah. <laughs> bad news, worse news, actually. Uh, as you move past and sort of, I'm flavoring these attack of opportunities, mm -hmm. as you sort of step on those eggs, Nebula says, mind the young, Harold, and an arm like a pseudopod comes out of her back and just smashes into your face for 20 points of damage. I will and, shield. Uh, oh, okay. okay. Well, uh, so what's the, that going to get right? you to? 20. 20. Uh, then the pseudopod just smashes against the shield. Depth, unfortunately, got a natural 20. Ah. Uh, oh, yeah, oh. see? That's not great. Can you, can you, cutting words it to drop it? Not natural it would, 20. It would can still be a natural 20. <laughs> not natural 20. I can uh, woe a natural 20, but I don't think we want to use natural, that right now. Yeah. Like, okay. at well, most, I could turn it into down, a... down... And she's hitting him on the way down in crit. He's not down. No, oh, he just shielded. Okay, okay, okay. He, he, the shield is going to stop Nebula because yeah, I rolled quite poorly. Yeah, remember, we only have five woes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we just got started. That's weird. Depth, unfortunately, he starts to grow and shift into his whole body as almost this giant bulbous tentacle and just smashes down on you for 30. Okay, actually, before he does that, uh, <laughs> blessing of luck, reroll that die. Nope. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. You do have a luck point that you can use that mm -hmm. for. Uh, it is still going to be a hit, but now it won't be a crit. Hey, that's better. That's okay. uh, I'm you said okay it got you to 20, right? Uh, your, yes. a, or your AC is uh, uh, currently 20. Current, 20, yeah, 20 until my next turn. Still going to be a hit, but it won't be a crit. Okay. No worries at all. 16 piercing hey. and 13 acid. 13 acid. I am still standing. Hey, all right. And Still invisible. Yeah, so as as your foot got and like kind of went through that egg as you scrambled, it just so happened to put you low enough to where that maw just scrapes across your back, just goring up your back, but you don't actually get eaten by the giant maw that lashes out at you, thus thus mess, messing up the crit. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, I will... Uh, Free action, take a drink. Uh, and I bonus. will... Yeah, bonus see, action, but yes, you can still do that. Oh, bonus action, I'll either or. Uh, they're the same, so I'll use the amulet of the drunkard. Yeah. <laughs> nice. And I will drink 
my like what is it? It has to be ale or meat or something. Alcohol, so yeah. Alcohol. Yeah, I drink my alcohol, and I will heal. Uh, nine plus uh, thirteen. All right. It's not bad. Not did that bad. drop the invisibility? Mm, that's just shield true. casting shield. No, it's greater invisibility. The damage. No. no oh, uh, roll roll um uh, concentration. Sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. What, no, no, what I roll there? Why? Yeah. Why did you hit die? Uh, uh, there will be two of them, check? two concentration checks from you. Uh, uh, constitution saving throw. Uh, right, yeah, two concepts. Let me see. And I'm just trying to get uh, 13 for the first one. Okay, you, you're still invisible. And the second one? 10. 10? 10 for the second one? You took... 16. Well, I nope, guess... you are no longer invisible. Yep. You lost concentration on the second one. Yeah, no worries there. I mean, I realistically speaking, now I know they can see... Did I put you? Did I? I think I put him in the. <laughs> no. <laughs> you can keep him in the box. He'll be there soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's over there. I gave, I gave him to Devin. Just, just I'm just throwing that. Mm -hmm. okay. has one What's does. in the box? <laughs> <laughs> What's in the box? Yeah, that's where it is. Um, but uh, your invisibility goes away, but you realize that it didn't matter because they still saw you. Yep, no worries. Um, that is the end of Harold's turn. Mm -hmm. It is the start of Nebula's turn. Oh, God. You see, she turns and looks at you as the shield is still kind of over you. And you see the mouth in her torso begins to open, and you see Freely's face. And it is bloody and worn, and it's like she's chewing on him. And she goes, Harold, Harold, I, I thought I, 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 made a, I made the wrong pact. Harold, can you can you help me, buddy? I, I just they came after me later, and uh, uh, my friends weren't there, and and I didn't know what to do. It's just uh, Harold, is there something something you can do for me, man? And you see, he reaches out with what was his clockwork hand, but it is burned. Actually, his right hand was clockwork, burned and uh, tattered, and the fingers are falling off of it. And you see Avrin's mark on his wrist because Avrin made his arm. Uh, he's not. Uh, he's not answering anymore. Uh, Harold. And Harold kind of glares for a second, and just grits his teeth and grabs the mask off his shoulder and pulls it over his face. And he goes, "You're not gonna trick me. Nobody's gonna trick me again." Huh. New plan then. <laughs> And an ooze starts radiating out from Nebula, uh, 30 feet in all directions. Yeah, so a 30 foot everybody. sphere. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, yep. everybody. Need deck saves from everybody. Fenley? Does it get Fenley? This is yeah. 25. Yep. Oh, yep. No, oh, oh, that's right. Yeah. She had to make the movement. Yeah. 30 deck in diameter. You said deck save? Dex. No! Dex. That's okay. Can I go back that's to you okay. the other character mm. stats? Just for this roll. No. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> you never know if no, you don't no ask. No, take back seats. Well, those people are a skin suit now, so I don't think you want to be them again. Yeah, that's right. You could, but you would be a skin suit. Yeah. We I mean, I've been that. worse. <laughs> but you'd be purple, which is. I yeah. love purple. That's true. And it's on. I also. It is a royal color. I could be blue. All right. <laughs> Dex. Uh, dirty twenty. Dex. Seventeen. Dex. Eight. Dex. 23. 23 is what you needed. Oh my god! Na, 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 na. Those of you that fail take 55 points of acid damage. Okay. Jeez. And a gibbering mouth there appears next to you. For each of you, you three. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm, at, I'm doing a reaction mm -hmm. whenever you're done narrating. Harold, uh, that is still half damage for you. Uh, so mathing, that's 25, 20, 28. What's 55 cut in half? I'm having trouble mathing. Uh, 27? 20, 20, 27. 27. 27. Yeah. 27 acid for Harold. Uh, 55 for everybody else. And in <clears throat> three gibbering mouthers for those of you that failed. I need the three of you to roll d6s. Uh, as you just took massive, massive damage. Six. Six. Uh, six. I'm <laughs> Oh, it's oh, I can't so use cutting words. I can't use cutting words. I, I already shielded, I, so. Yeah, I have a reaction, but though. Um, as this explosion of bile comes out, the acid actually 
gets into your eyes and ah. burns away at um, your scleral film and you start clawing at your eyes because it burns so much and you are blind until the end of your next turn. Cool. Dungeon cool. Masters, cool. since yes. we have a collective here, uh, the Gibbering Mouthers actually act after Nebula. Could I oh, trouble um, real, you? Well, real I know, I, yeah, I know yeah, you did yeah, say yeah. You, you have a reaction, um, but uh, logistically, the Gibbering Mouthers act right after Nebula on her initiative. If mm -hmm. you all wouldn't mind controlling them, I can, of course, if no, you'd like me to be no, worse. No, got it. Uh, got it, got it. They can do have... Please? They do have plus seven to attack and damage. Because these are spicy gibbering mouthers. I apologize. You did oh, say no, you no, have a you're reaction. Good. Uh, I am casting Hellish Rebuke at fourth level. Okay. Uh, That's a deck save from her as well, I believe. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, one thing we know is Hellish Rebuke here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, we, we definitely know that one. Um, what is, uh, what's the number she needs? Uh, she needs 15. Uh, she is going to make that save. Okay, so you take have, 13 yeah. fire damage. 13. That's um, not already halved. That's halved. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, it was 26. Cool. Perfect. Um, you see as flames erupt, and it does kind of like start to burn and pockmark her a little. She just looks at you and she goes, Anger, I like it. I was raised right. <laughs> Would you like to make a deal to save their lives? Not Vinley. Vinley's spoken for, but Seisha and Harold. Harold especially. Only if the deal is you casting a spell down your own throat. Well, then she looks down and the mouth opens and she's like, <laughs> I could. Um, but the mouthers uh, do their thing. Sorry. Okay. Uh, um, that, that was, sorry, 13. My AC yes. the way right now is 23. Okay. 17. As of right now, beach. Okay. <laughs> um, even although you are blinded, uh, you're just moving and like just instinctively dodging or just luckily stepping out of the way as these mouths come lashing out with these tendrils and eyes and just this amorbious miasma of flesh and goo uh, lash out at you. But um, they all miss. Hell yeah. Um, question for uh, you. You did add plus you, seven to their DMs. attack, right? Yep. Sorry. Question for you, DMs. Yeah. Last time we were here, am I wrong in saying that we were able to, like, alter things by... That was, basic... um... That was Limbo. Limbo. That was Limbo. Okay, cool. Yeah. Just making sure. Yep. I can. So can I. There's <laughs> <laughs> the meta answer. <laughs> oh, shit, they can break the fourth wall. Because <laughs> yeah, Harold's like, hmm, Death leans in like, oh, you can't. <laughs> All of a sudden, like, B-Dave appears. <laughs> in the next to Harold. Oh, God! Oh. <laughs> Who's this tall, handsome man? Um, one, two, three, four. Uh, so that is going to be Harold. Um, all of a sudden, near you, this eye on one of these orbs, like the orb itself just opens um, from one of these pods and becomes an eye itself, looks at you, and a, uh, just like this bubbling static ray comes firing out at you. Uh, I need a constitution saving throw. From him. Harold. Harold. Me. You got a chunky 13. con. You're a stout boy. 13. Um, and as you're running away, looking back, it's almost as if like time slows for a second. You feel this wave wash over you and your muscles and everything tenses up and you are paralyzed. I can't counterspell this. It is not a spell. It is a layer effect. Got it. It's amazing how many mechanics can keep going when there's three DMs, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> However... As all of this is happening, a voice echoes out over the world. <laughs> the world. And you hear at first when you just hear the vibrations of sound kind of trying to pull its way through. Oh no, we've been seen. Ganadar is about to speak. And then you hear. 
then you'll stay there just for a little bit longer. Mama gonna get you out, but we need a couple of seconds. Do what you need to do. If you die in there, you die out here. So please don't do that. Vimply. Oh, did we get back our, our telepathic bond? Yes, you were. Vimply, is, <laughs> is that hope you're counting on up there? I told you V was the only one smart enough to stay out. I think I'm going to have a word with them. And you see Nebula's non-existent eyes staring up in the direction of the light like she's thinking really hard about something. Okay. Tasha. <gasps> Target acquired. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am going to uh, attack Nebula. Um, first, I invoke Vow of Enmity on her which would normally give me advantage to hit her. Hold on. Since I'm blind, that gives me disadvantage on attack, you have to, so I'm rolling normal. Do you have to see the thing that you put nope. a vow on? I don't believe so. Let me Just double check. Sure. As far as I recall, I don't think No, you can. can. Yeah, and you wow, have to be able to see him. Yep. I thought you yep. did And you make sure you can see within 10 feet. Yep. And oh. you, you, you will get your vision back at the end of your turn. <laughs> right? <laughs> because... So, eight eight one, Screw it. I'm gonna attack anyways. It's just disadvantage. Mm -hmm. Why not? If not now, win. Right? Yes, oh, sir. hey, actually, I'm really hurt. Uh, uh. <laughs> action land hands? Yes, that. <laughs> Can you do something swing. that has a radius effect? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. Damn it. <laughs> uh, did you roll concentration for haste? Because I was about to say you still can attack with the haste. It's not concentration, is it? Oh, yes, yes, it is. It is. Oh, well then, yeah, I should, I should yeah. track Because I was like, you can still do another thing. Oh, wait a second. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, that's right. It is, and I always tell myself not to cast anything else while I've got these stuff. Yeah. Uh, that is 15. Do 50, I add anything to it? 55 was the damage. Yep, so, so you needed 24. Uh, plus your constitution saving. Oh. Yeah, it's a con oh. save. So 15 on the die, plus your con save. Come on, 10 con! <laughs> no, it's 5! Damn it! Um, yeah. Yep, Dirty haste 20. Is, haste is gone. Haste is gone. Mother. Uh, oh, haste is I gone. I fall over. You don't fall over. You're stunned. You can't do no, anything. No, you you fall to the ground. I thought. No, you're stunned. You're stunned. You're stunned. You are stunned. Your so body goes into. It's only for one round. Yep. It's or until the end of your start of your next turn. The wave of exhaustion. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So you can't move or take action. Yep. Can't until do then. anything. But uh, your vision comes back at the end of your turn. <laughs> <laughs> and technically, that damage that caused the stun, which ended the haste, would have been before her turn, which means that the it goes away with the blind. Yes. So your your stun yeah. goes away okay, with so the blindness. So I just don't temporary. get an action. Right? You, ju you basically just lose a turn. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because you go. Oh, yep. 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 So uh, I did not heal myself. Nope, you did not. Awesome. Yep. Oh, cool. <laughs> that is the end of Sasha's turn. <laughs> Uh, end of Sage's turn, anything? No. Okay. Oh, that's rough. Then that brings us to Depth. Depth turns and looks at you, Vinley, and says, mm, I'm not usually much one for accords, but I do like a choice. I'm going to kill Harold now, unless you'd like me to kill that one instead. Who are you pointing to? <laughs> Bring it. Zaysha. Mm. Goodbye, Harold. And Depth moves up to him, and because he is paralyzed, all three of these hits are going to be crits. Man after my own heart. <laughs> Does he move through the, the eggs to um, reach me? He moves away from me. Uh, he, no, was he was always over there. Yeah. Yeah. He was. Oh, oh, so okay. these are these are three separate um, rolls. Three. They will be three separate. Yeah, there'll be three separate rolls. So, oh, parallel, yeah. there'll be three separate rolls with advantage. With advantage. And to answer you, care. Harold, yes, he does. But the worms move in a way that this is their realm. It does not seem that anything is bothering them. The young gotcha. move out of my path, not the other way around. Now, a little bit of housekeeping. Uh, your shield is still up, so you, you, you have yeah. that bonus. You, you have I AC got advantage. You, you're, you're doing things here. Um, 
currently there is going to be a dirty 20 coming at him. Minus six. Okay, so yeah. one miss. Uh, there is going to be a 27 coming at him. Minus six. That's so it, one hit. 21, at least. So that'll be a hit. That's one hit. Yep. Uh, and going to be a 23 coming at him. Minus three. Two so, hits. So it's so two hits. So two crits because you are paralyzed. Yep. So first first uh, crit damage uh, is going to and be 32 piercing. And is the acid damage going to be da- uh, doubled as well? 32 yeah. piercing and 26 so acid. It's all, it's all one attack, so mm-hmm. it's not down and then death save. So yep. just so you know. Okay. Uh, is he still up with the 32 and 26? No, I'm down. Uh, death will hit him again. Yep, for, so, uh, so that'll be death two death saves. <laughs> <laughs> and when Harold falls, he looks at Vinley again and says, You haven't learned anything. <laughs> and just like smashes his fist down into Harold again. Yep. <clears throat> but, because of that, whoa. It is not an auto death. I think in that moment, Vinley not being able to see and just hearing the sounds of Harold being crushed to death is reminded when he died right before her, right in front of her, being crushed to death by an earth elemental. And it plays inside of her head again. Or when he died just before her, when it gets Manchu. That's what you're talking about. Oh, that's right, earth elemental. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would like to say... As Vinley is thinking this, the nature of this realm, it plays for everybody. Everybody sees it. So what, yep. what yeah. happened? Yeah, so you're once again warped back in Karina. You're seeing it for the first time. This almost stark white marble room with these Zentarum logo painted on the floor. Built from the tile itself. And it's not very large. It's only maybe a 20 by 20 room. And there is a lot of figures in here. You see the old full group of the BFGs. You see this golden dragonborn wreathed in flames you with see wings the, um you see uh just spellcaster spellcaster and someone looking towards an empty corner and i believe there was a, a big bee's hand there i did locate object yeah and that's you were looking yeah. and the big bee's hand is pressing against golden angel features oh yeah yeah, oh, yeah. So it was before the mist yep. um and you just watch as harold is looking out reaching out and this massive rock golem just slams, slams down. And slams. You then see V running over, cradling Harold, going, no, no, trying to pour a potion down his throat as it just pours out the side. It's, you have to swallow it, Harold. You have to swallow it if it's going to work. And I would say there's one thing that is different this time. Nebula and Depth are there. Mm. And Nebula looks at you and says, you think you would have learned to dodge by now, right? <laughs> you think you'd learn to shut up by now? Ah, <sighs> heroes, how many times will you lose? And then the <laughs> we, we return back to the... <laughs> Every time till we win. <laughs> um, uh, all right, like that <laughs> is... Uh, that was depth. That was depth. Yeah, we're we're top. top of the round, Vinley. Uh, Legendary actions are recharged. <laughs> Vinley hears <laughs> that thing next to her. She's handling this she (laughs) I think she turns to start like flavor she's crawling up onto the thing and trying to make her way to Harold but she's going to use her whole movement to get towards Harold as close as I need a strength saving throw from you as you turn to move you realize the ground itself has become sponge like 15 that's enough as you make your way out of it and start moving as much as you can. And uh, when she's crawling across that, like, shelf as Mm -hmm. she, like, goes to stand again on the other side, Mm -hmm. she has her hands on the ground, and she, no one can really see it, but her eyes go black, void of the moon. Mm Mm-hmm. You see just so like every bit of, oh, yeah. like, like, and you see like the little outline that you know it's there, but. Yeah. And she, her voice gets real deep and she just goes, protect him. And she pulls at the dirt as she raises a seventh level summon undead. Yes, she yeah. does. Yeah. Ghostly. 
And he's going to make his attacks against okay. Got my it. sweet wormy boy. Oh, I had that ready. Oh, yeah. And this is the ghostly variant. Okay. okay. So probably can't be feared, so I'm not taking that with much of a grain of salt, so that's uh, seven. Shockingly, he can't, actually. <laughs> He only fears his father's disapproval. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, we all. <laughs> a 16 to hit on the first one? Uh, 16 is not enough, I would say, as it just smashes into the mass of worms and go. This one is a 28. That is enough. Uh, this one's a 14, so it's That's just... Also not enough. Uh, 13 points of necrotic damage. And uh, if this matters to you, there is a wisdom saving throw involved or being frightened. It doesn't. I and figured. Also, you realize, although this thing is made out of worms, mm -hmm. it seems not as affected by this as you would think. Like, some of the worms, like, sizzle and melt a little bit, but not to the extent that you would expect. Okay. And he seems wholly unbowed, fear-wise. She gets to her feet as her eyes clear up. Yes. Over uh, the telepathic bond. Just remember, guys, we don't have to beat them. We just have to survive this. Um, and it's almost as if the, the new moon itself refreshing. And it's like your eyes come back with the full um, waning of your irises. And that's what washes away the, the blindness. Um, just making sure that you have your bonuses as a necromancer added to your undead spirit. Because oh. it is an undead. Being that like, it's healthier and, and hardier and stuff like that. Yep. Because you are a necromancer. Thank you for that. Um, is that it for Vinley? I believe. That is it for Vinley. See, both of them. Both Nebula and Depth. It's like everything stops for a moment. And it's almost like your friends are moving in slow motion, Vinley, and you're calling up to the heavens, and this undead thing is hitting Harold repeatedly. Nebula just looks at you and she says, you don't have to worry about what happens to him. His death was already certain. Is he on two death saves or three? Two. Because of the she, she just looks at you and she says, Don't look. Don't look. And her arm extends and she's going to hit him on the ground with her legendary action. How far away can she hit? She actually can teleport. Te yep, she teleports. Yeah. Up to him. <laughs> yep. Literally okay. just goes blip, blip. Yep. Blip. No, it like teleports right next to him and makes an attack. Mm hmm. Okay. That's a hell of a legendary action. I hate teleport so much. <laughs> Straight up, she can teleport part of the legendary and action. In the same legendary action? Yep, teleports up to 30 feet and making attacks. Yep. Hmm. And she's gonna get a 30 to hit him. Uh, I don't know if there's a. No. And she, it's almost like, technically, yes, she teleports, but Vinley, it's almost like you still feel like she's covering your eyes and just extends <laughs> down into the ground. Go ahead and uh, fail your final death save, Harold, as Harold dies. And she reaches down, and she actually picks him up and she looks at him. She says, was this worth it? Did you learn what you need to know? And drops him like he's made a to her. Yep. And there's a cry that echoes out very faintly as you hear Petunia's voice. Nope. <laughs> I would like to say, flavor-wise, Harold. Yeah. <laughs> In this moment, this place warps. What's the time Harold's been most afraid in his life? I could not tell you that. There are so many times in this <laughs> I was campaign. Say, poor Harold, it's been this, a while. This, this honestly is probably one of the least terrifying things he's faced. <laughs> What leaps to mind first? I... Y you just really have to understand this campaign. Uh... <laughs> how about... Some insight. <laughs> how about the moment that Three Strings revealed himself to be the Harlequin? Yeah, that'll work. 
Yeah. That's fine. That's, what I was so, that's good. That yep. was my yep. thought, too. Yeah. It is. I was it thinking is, Petunia getting dropped. Just, that's let me better. ask you guys one quick question for this mm -hmm. here. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. And everyone sees that. Okay. Wait, where is so, our blinded over? Yeah. Yeah. The blind okay. is over, and uh, also, I think no, not, not yours. yours. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, you can see this though. She wants yeah. you to see this. <laughs> In your mind, she drops <laughs> the blindness just to be a bitch. Just like open your eyes. You're like, no, no, no. Watch this part. Watch this part. You're gonna see this part. You know? In your in your mind's eye, you see as almost like your herald, mm -hmm. and you have this feeling of I'm going on a mission. I have we're gonna make a strike against the Xanathar. This is gonna be great. I'm with my best friend, the person I trust more than anyone else. And walking out of the room is the image of the one person you hate more than anyone else. And you see your friend's face as he puts over a mask. He goes, ha, ha, ha. And instead of joining together, um, there's that moment where time skips forward a little bit and you are on the, the underneath the ship as you hear explosions going off. And although that time you fought off the paralysis of the poison, this, this time, memory, you don't. And you go down with the ship and drown. And as you feel the water flooding into your lungs, Harold, and the life beginning to slip away. It's not water you're choking on, it's worms. Gross. Off chance, is them able to help at all? Not where you are currently. Figured. Yep. That actually was a legendary action after Vinley's turn, so. <laughs> it is now Karina's. Yeah, it is. It is Go ahead Karina. and grab her. As Karina, ah! as Karina looks over and just all the rage in her soul as she summons Sapphire. You worthless cunt! And Sapphire is going to land protectively over Harold, standing over his body as Sapphire. Uh, and Stop. Sapphire and I now share the, what's the kind of damage we've taken the most of? Is it psychic? Uh, it would, I think acid, actually. Acid. Is the most so uh, Sapphire and I now share acid resistance, and yes. I am going to rend three times. Maybe lower depth. Uh, Sapphire is going to rend uh, on no. depth. 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 Right. depth. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, so, and Karina's action was summoning. Yep. Uh, I'll do her bonus action in a second. Yep. And while you're rolling that, beautiful movie moment of the Sapphire Dragon with acid running through it and this ghostly <laughs> far realm twisted corpse trying to grab worms <laughs> <laughs> pull it off so All like right. why did you choose the ones with the sharpest pointies <laughs> alright so that's 27 that's more than enough 25 more than enough and 20 uh, also more than enough nice Three okay hits. So that's, oh, okay, hold on. 12, 13, <laughs> and 15, nice. so 30. Yep. Um, so that'll be 30 points of piercing damage. Mm -hmm. And that's it for, if, if you'll permit, Sapphire is just uh, for their bonus, just kind of like folding wings over Harold. Uh, okay. Just for flavor. Got it. Yeah. Um, and then bonus action. I will say when Sapphire does that, Death just looks up, and again, it's just this porcelain mask. You can have what's left. We don't need it. And Sapphire just... Ha! Where is Harold? And <laughs> Under the dragon. <laughs> right yeah. He's Thanks between big old dragon feet. Uh, and for my bonus action, I am Misty Stepping. Uh, Where? To Venley. Oh. Can't Misty step. Why? Because you casted your summon dragon. Oh. oh. It's my bonus action. It's I have Misty step as a bonus it's action. A but it but has to be a spell. cantrip yep. if you use a spell. You can only cast one two. Spell. That's right, that's yep. right, that's right, that's right. So then for my bonus action, I am actually going to swap 
to chalice. That you can do. Um, and yeah. I'm going and you to can hold attempt- on to that. You can move, or well, you no, because that would be an attack of opportunity. Yeah. Would you is say there someone with us? The uh, you got those ten gibbering. gibbering. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. We got gibbering. Yeah, the other, they're like, uh, excuse yeah. me, ma'am. <laughs> 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 Yeah. And the other one missed you horribly, so I didn't even mention it. I rolled a one on the attack, so I just yeah, yeah. Here, so. so I think that is I think that's it for me and Sapphire. Let me make sure Sapphire doesn't have anything else. Uh, that's pretty that's pretty good. E- okay, yeah, Sapphire can just hold yeah. dodge, I guess, but it's, you. it's not important. Do this in the dragon. Oh, it's forty, not thirty. Sorry. Thank, thank you to chat who can do math. (laughs) So another ten points. I added it up. Um, Is your moving and everything? And you, depth says that we don't need it. Nebula just says, "You never learn." And she motions, and the ground around Harold, in a twenty-foot square, turns into teeth in mouths. Uh, that become difficult terrain, and if you int- if you get close to him, you take ten piercing for every five feet you move. Well, good thing Sapphire's standing on the same square. Uh-huh. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Sapphire just <laughs> like putting toes around Harold, like. <laughs> and just so everybody knows, it is the interior square, not the outer nodules. Okay, 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 okay. Twenty. Yep. <clears throat> Sapphire just. All right. Uh, anything from depth? Uh, right now, um, depth is just a bad person. So, um, having already done what he's gonna do there, uh, where did you say Karina is? Karina is right here. Uh, yeah, I'm is she within 30 feet of depth? Uh, hold uh, on. I'll tell you right now. We're gonna math. 40. Nope. Nope. Uh, it's 35. 35. Uh, if, if it's, well, hold on, let me see something. Oh, he's got reach. So yeah, he's gonna teleport thirty feet closer to her. Yep. And make Get it. Get fucked, Dick. Let's see. Are you still blind or no? No. Okay, great. And then normal. Uh, what is your AC? Gentle sentient. Uh, loading. <laughs> loading. Uh, seventeen. Uh, he's definitely gonna hit you. Uh, for 16 piercing and 6 acid, uh, accounting for your resistance. Actually, wait. For your hit. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh. Minus 6. Then that is going to get it down to 22. All right. So you said 16 and 6? 16 and 6. Account. That's already accounting for your resistance. Okay. As he teleports, and it seems like he's just out of reach, and then his arm just extends. And then... Of worms and acid. Uh... Reaction. Give me a sec. Sorry. Uh, where's the? Whenever we get into this, I'm like, where's my stuff? It's, that's what a lot's <laughs> happening. A lot's Play, happening. Playing spellcasters, man. Yes. It's all good. Uh. Hellish rebuke at fifth level. Okay. Oh, he gets an accident. Stop rolling. I just want to say. Um, on a personal level, I'm very hot right now. This is this is intense. This, <laughs> this room is burning up plus yeah. anxiety. I did not roll very well in the deck save. Okay, what'd uh, you get? Uh, you said level five. He's uh, gonna use a legendary reaction. Legendary, legendary resistance, resistance rather. So half. Half. You see okay, so the flames start to eat away at him, and then it just he just sort of grimaces, and they just start to recoalesce. 24. 24. Is that accounting That's for being half? That's what they have. Okay, perfect. Nice. Damn. Yeah. Uh, and it's like like this just comet bursts, of like this asteroid exploding. When uh, that happens and you see this blow up, you see Nebula just looks at you, and she looks up at the sky again like she's listening for I'm something. still in Nebula's form, too. <laughs> <laughs> and she just looks at depth, and she says, not much longer, my love. And he goes, I'm bored of this already anyway. But that was just a legendary. Mm-hmm. Can also, I... Also, I'm hurting real bad. Can I make a roll uh, for eye for detail? Wait, no, it's a bonus action. Never mind. No, you cannot. Mm-hmm. Yep, no. On your turn, you can. Yep, not going to do that. Uh, Harold oh. is... Um, Harold. Dead. Oh. 
You wake up, face down, on a sandy shore. Not yet, he doesn't. <laughs> you guys can bring him back. No. He hasn't oh, reached. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah. He's still, he's... I thought you didn't get there until... Uh, there's the time that Orkir brought him back. He still remembered being there, but... Yeah, he, oh, that was my to, misunderstanding. I'm you sorry. don't go get there on the boat. And then boat. we bring him back. Yeah. You don't get on the okay. boat until yeah. after a minute. Yeah, okay. you go on the shore, and then we yank him back from the shore. That's, yep. I'm so pretty. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> or, um, or leave him there. Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. in the far-off oh, distance <laughs> of the river sticks, you see a small lantern slowly making its way towards you. End of Harold's turn. Uh, end of Harold's turn at no no more. Well, actually, uh, I think we might. Uh... Oh, hang on, sorry. Do you have uh, one thing? Uh, Depth is going to swing at you again. Cram. Enjoy it. Uh, that is going to be a twenty-five before any shenanigans. <sighs> nope. That's only a one. Mm. Again, 16 and six. I'm down. Karina goes down, and with it, Sapphire goes away. Nebula just goes, oh, to nice. the dragon. And she does lean over you, and she says, I know you can still hear me. This is what happens when you pretend to be a star child. Ah, Vinley. Vinley, 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 Vinley. We didn't even know her. <laughs> she was so disrespectful. I wanted to make sure she didn't forget. And how much time for her now? But you've gone through so many friends, I'm sure you can form another adventure. I'm not her friend. Is that the sword talking? No. Oh, don't say something cliche. No, like I'm not family. going to. I'm not telling you anything. Oh, fine. But that was a legendary. So, oh, although that makes it Nebula's turn. It does. Oh no. Hang on, wait, wait. Yep. I need you to see that, sir. Shit. Okay. She just looks at you all. <laughs> and says, Finley, can I tell you something true? I suppose, I suppose. I don't actually know which part of you is here with me. I don't actually know where he's gone. She says his Harold's body is being ambiently sort of chewed on by mouths and teeth over there. That one, <laughs> spicy. <laughs> Not quite gone yet, but um, what's this? Seisha look like she's kind of all right or is she a little beat up? Uh, Seisha is bloody. No, she's not bloody. She's just barely not bloody. <laughs> <laughs> she's one point from bloody. <laughs> Hang in. She just says, "Let's um, let's find out where you're gonna go." And that vomitous ooze rolls out of her again. Dexterity saving throws. It's a auto fail for uh, Karina. Am I within? Right. Uh, I mean, it's where do you center it? On them. Yeah. Well, it's a, yeah. Oh, I didn't know if that was yeah. a uh, self-action. Yeah. Yeah. She can, she can project it. Yeah. Yeah. 30 so foot radius. One, one failure mm -hmm. for me? Uh, it'll be one failure for you. Yep. Okay. And then deck save from Vinley and, and the Gibbering Mathers. They're not immune to acid. Nebula is remarkably unconcerned about what happens to the Gibbering Mathers, honestly. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I mean, more are going to get made, possibly. So More are going to get made, possibly. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. There, there. It's a one. Natural twenty for a twenty-three. Wait. Vinley. I have something for this. Vinley. You're down now, aren't you? Mm-hmm. You're in death saves. Yeah. No. I had. Sorry. I had a thing that. Nope. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Sorry. 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 What'd you get, Vinley? It's a natural one. Mm. You rolled it. I'm sorry. I took your one. Finley, is this 
shockwave goes out and you begin to feel yourself consumed. And Seisha, you watching your friend fall, all of your friends being consumed. Nebula says, You don't have to owe Baba Yaga anything. You know that, right? There's one thing you should know. I keep my accords. It's not too late for Harold yet. You could help him. It doesn't have to be too late for the two of them. We will kill them. You can get out of here. You can still face George and he's probably gonna kill you and, and you will not prevail against the Elder Evils, but you don't have to die right here, right now. I know. They don't have to die right here, right now. I know. I'm feeling charitable. I'm not. We are feeling <laughs> charitable. We will actually let you go, because quite frankly, and she leans down next to Vinley's body that you hear the acid hissing and sort of brushes her hair slightly. <laughs> I actually rather like the idea of her still having nightmares about me, and now this one being filled with the same hate that V is. All you have to do is ask me nicely. But before you feel so stout and resolute, she points at the Mouthers. These beasts will kill them both. Their death is imminent. Unless you ask me nicely to let your friends go. Are there any Mouthers up? How much damage was it? 55 if they didn't make the save. 55. They did not. They are barely up. Oh, but hold another, on. another one it, appears, though. my turn yet? No, oh. the Mouthers go after Nebula. Okay. And it was acid? Yes. Okay. I do follow. Uh, <laughs> and uh, one appears from, um, I guess technically two appear from the failed saves. Oh, wait a second. The attack that you did on me... Oh, no, never mind, never mind, never mind. Mm-hmm. So Making sure I have my mouth correct. Five mouthers currently. And Casper is gone as well. Yep. Yep. Uh, bum, bum. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> two more appear, and then one will. Nebula says, kill them both. If she flips her off, she's like, kill them both. Well, what I would like to say. So it was this one, so one. These two were the ones that got hit. Okay. Uh, and this one. Nope, it's just out. It's feet. Well, it appears uh, next to them if they when they fail to save. No, this is this. Oh, is sorry, the sorry, ones sorry. That, were here that one's gone. This one. Um, uh, ba, 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 I got two. Has showing. a sorry. a level of exhaustion, so it has disadvantage Perfect. on. Um, skill checks. Skill checks. Yep. It's not a very skilly gibbering uh, mouth. It will attempt to. <laughs> but there's well, two showroom new ones on the two of them. Yep. What I would like to say, if you would allow me a little narrative license, yep. mm -hmm. is as these mouthers. Actually, allow me to ask you all one quick question here, if you don't mind. No. One second. <laughs> Fail on your own time. <laughs> <coughs> well, you what's know, your, audience. Some huh? of you know me. AC? 17. But she's in death saves, though. Should be mm -hmm. auto crit. If it hits. Got it. What's your. What's 17. Your, 17? Uh, some of you know me, friends. Those of you that don't know me, you know me now. Uh, but I am not a monster. Well, I am, but I am more <laughs> of a mercenary, so I just like to check for some certain aspects of consent. Uh, yeah, did you see my qu my question there? Sorry, um, I pose to you all. Uh, I like consent before. Well, consent I, is sexy. I, consent is sexy. There's uh, you know, actually I, I, something I am looking for. Perfect. Take, um, literally, take all the time you need. Uh, <laughs> I did once unleash uh, an evil goddess, um, because uh, she said she'd bring Penelope back, and I gotta tell you, uh, given the chance to do it again, now knowing freely knowing what he knows, he still awesome. would unleash. Yep. An evil goddess yep. to bring Freely back, or to bring Penelope back. Um, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna I'm I think gonna, it, I think it's. Yeah, I think it's. I think it's him. That's all right. Maybe was making meaningful eye contact for someone without eyes, and Depp doesn't have eyes either. As her? these gibbering mouthers descend on your friends here. Um, 
They're a little mouthy for my taste. <laughs> I know there's one. I really don't want to ask this out loud. I know you guys have one. But you have to. Who has the Phoenix Elixir? The last one. I thought Harold V. No, I think V has it. You have it? Oh, you oh do? yeah, that's right. Vinley took. I that bounced around so many people that episode. Yeah, okay. that's why I was trying to get Got close it. to Harold. Um, well, I would like to formally seed control back to you all. Is <laughs> Nebula no command very much looking at <clears throat> Sasha, who flipped her off, who refused to ask nicely to save her friends? Yep. Uh, Bids the mouthers do. Jibbering mouth. One misses you. Okay. One hits you. Mm-hmm. That's You're gonna lose two. Two death saves. Is it two for one hit? One yeah. hits. Mm-hmm. Okay. For melee. I'm out. Mm-hmm. Okay. Two death saves. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and that leads it to the layer action. Could I just say one last thing? Sure. As Karina dies and Vinley is dying, she says. I did say I'd let you go. <laughs> uh-huh. I know later lay, uh-huh. things are happening. Sorry. Uh, Vinley, stabilize. Oh. Yeah, she said she'd let you go. Don't forget me, Vinley. A deal's a deal. And I don't want to force this because the player is not here to make the choice. There are people that are awake and outside of this dream sequence that have access to your real potions. Do you want to sacrifice this potion? I would say yes. My plan, not that it should play into the decision, but my plan was to use it on Harold when I went down. V would have done it if she saw Harold go down. If she saw Harold stop breathing, like... I don't think anyone could she stop She would have been her. like, better to beg forgiveness than ask permission. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think what we do is it is the layer action. That's what it's going to do. And at this moment, the world around you immediately evaporates. My, how convenient. <laughs> as you find yourself waking up those who are awake in Mama Ue's shop. It's just me. In Mama Ue's shop as the rest lie either dead or unconscious, still within one minute Mm -hmm. for both of them. And I think that is where we end tonight's No! No! Yes! Over. The cutoff time was going to be 11 o'clock. There's only five minutes, and that's how far you needed to make it. that is the first time I've ever died in D&D. Okay. In 30 years of play. Okay. <laughs> um, I love so, it. So, on this cliffhanger that seems a little dangerous, uh, a little dark, um, as Seisha said multiple times, I have a really bad idea. You learned, learned, I warned everybody. You learned a lot of information about who George Forsworn was, mm-hmm. who the Greenhorn adventuring troop was, um... Uh, something that you could possibly use in the future to your advantage. And fuck his dad. I will say, as the <laughs> wor- finger down. <laughs> as the visage of Nebula and Depth and the Dreamlands fade away, Seisha, your eyes look up to see, to look to see where Nebula and Depth were looking, and you see a figure looking down at you. The entire visage of him takes up the entire sky, and it is Oppenser. And I think that is the perfect place to say goodbye. I didn't have a narrative button, but I had a practical button. I do want to point out, we talked about consent, we talked about yep. lines yes. and veils, you know? Like, yes, that was difficult, but everyone... Yeah. We, we, we had buy-in from everyone, just Don't to make worry. sure, you know? <laughs> this audience has seen me cry about traumatic things enough to know. Listen, when you get to a certain level, it's just fun to lose. Yeah. Like, yeah. It is just so much fun to lose. You also know distinctively where Nebula and Depth are. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, so at least there's some comfort in knowing that they can't just pop into the, the prime material uh, plane. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows modify memory? <laughs> <laughs> so, but thank you all so much for joining us. That's what the booze is for. You know, that's why I'm boring. <laughs> modify memory. Yeah, I'm good. Wait, uh, oh, sorry, I know. I know we need. To, I know we need. To no, no. That, I was going to say, B Day. One thing. Bory had a motivational quote tattooed on his ankle. <laughs> he did. What was the motivational quote tattooed on Bory's ankle? <laughs> <laughs> Make it up. What you got? Live, laugh, love. I assume that's like the most basic bitch thing possible. No, but, 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 yeah. What's Drink funny hard, though, fight hard. We all have, us and me, all have matching ankle tattoos. So yeah. girl, the girls got like, drunk, went to the dock ward. <laughs> To the sleaziest <laughs> tattoo shop we could find. Who's to say Bori didn't do the exact yeah. same thing? Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm Bori, thinking Bori, for that. some reason, is part of the Girls' Night <laughs> Squad. He doesn't know how he became a part of it. I think it's almost like, uh, like a chain slogan. As a motivational quote, like the world runs on Duncan style. <laughs> I was thinking the eternity with love written in cursive and the eternity. Also, that's a good one, but I think it's like Semicolon. a mermaid <laughs> with a really swooshy tail, and it says uh, Star Bucklers Rise. <laughs> I hate what is that, that's, How's that motivational? Because we rise, rise dude. <laughs> like Star bucklers oh my rise. Goodness. Oh my goodness. And Prosecco, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, just uh, the most. I yeah, love right. it. Uh, Star buckler's rise. Star buckler's rise. Star buckler's rise. George is off some smash cut, and he's just like, Star buckler's rise. Star <laughs> <laughs> you know? has that tattoo. Oh, my God. Ace Key has that part of your ankle. <laughs> it's like a patch here now. Oh Star buckler's rise. Uh, we're going to be pulling those. Yeah, pulling winners right now. Uh, B-Dave, thanks so much for, for coming back, bringing back these terrible, terrible, awful, awful monsters. You, I we love re- to hate them. They, Nebula and Depth really did kill, get killed in the finale of uh, Dark and Wish. And, and I saw you guys in L.A., uh, and, and Katie and Katie both were like, Fuck Nebula and Death. It's like, we want a rematch. And I was like, well, they're dead, but I can bring them back. And that is literally why I resurrected yeah. them. Gee, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, we got good information on how to make you go the fuck away forever. Yep, yep. And so, uh, all right. Uh, uh, winner of the Elder Sanji miniature is Bookish Oddish. Congratulations. Yay! Congratulations. Yay! Um, What's your favorite thank you all so much for joining us. Be excellent to each other. May you always roll with advantage. Good night, everybody. Be safe.